Get in here. Everybody, get in here. Solo Streams, yo, what's up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We will be starting after the song is over. bro thanks for chatting for the first time all right y'all let's start this stream let's do it let's do it let's do it it's time it's time it's time so if you guys were paying attention yes i am wearing a walmart jacket i worked worked with an ed at walmart and i figure hey why not wear my old nine to five jacket while i while i watch the stream i'm i don't work there anymore and I, I hope I can make it on Twitch or something because I don't have a job right now. But, hey, that's a little private. <laughs> you guys didn't need to know all that. <laughs> this Walmart hoodie, I, I just couldn't do Walmart anymore. It just wasn't for me. I felt like entertaining people was more of what I could do. But I might not even be able to do that either. So, I'm just, you know what I mean? But the Walmart Walmart style, I'm rocking it. Here we go. This is what my name is, everybody. Everybody get a good look. Yup. You, you probably can't see my name, and that's probably good. But anyways, this is, what, this is our outfit for today, Walmart. Today, we are going to be reacting to Logan Paul calling out Andrew Tate to fight in an MMA match when we all thought that only th the only thing Logan Paul would do is fight Andrew Tate Fist to fist in a boxing match. But no, Logan Paul says, hey, no, fuck all that fighting shit. I want to put my feet in your face. I want to put my feet all over your fucking face. I would really love to see this. But didn't Andrew Tate just, just get into like, I just watched the um, Sean O'Malley interview with Andrew Tate a couple days ago. Put the entire thing on my YouTube channel for those who missed the stream. You know, you can watch it there. Uh, you can watch it chopped up in clips, really edit it really good, blah, blah, blah. At E-V-I-L-Y-X-O-F. 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 Don't make me say it again, please. Thank you. Anyways, I just finished that, and I go and sit down after editing the fucking Sean O'Malley x Andrew Tate interview, and then a fucking other interview comes out. So I stand up, and I'm like, okay, who is it? And it's Logan Paul responding to the guy I just edited. So, here we are, guys. Logan Paul calling out Andrew Tate. I hope you guys enjoy the fucking stream. If you're watching the stream after the stream is over, fuck you! You should have came to the live stream, bitch! The live stream ends just like usual when the fucking interview is over. The fucking live stream is over. We're not doing 8 hours. We're not doing 12. We're not doing 16. We're not doing 50. We're doing a one hour stream, but since I will be talking as well, it might be a two, two and a half hour stream. So sit back, relax, and let yourself go. L let's go. Let's do this shit. They smoking weed, bro? Okay. It's that type of podcast. I want to let everybody know this this podcast is for mature audiences. If you're younger than 18 or 17 or 18, then 
that's on you if you hear some extra shit. This is a mature stream for adults. So if you're in this bitch and you're a kid, act like an adult or I'm going to ban your dumb ass. Anyways, now that that disclaimer is over, let's get right into the news. <laughs> It's funny how I tell people to act like an adult while I act like a complete kid. It's a little hypocritical, I know, but you know, I want you to act like an adult so I can be the kid. You know, I'm allowed to be a kid. You're not. Unless you go to Chuck E. Cheese because that's where a kid can be a kid. You said I too pay taxes. Hey, if you pay taxes, bro, welcome to the stream. If you pay taxes, welcome to the stream. If you evade taxes, welcome to the stream. You guys to know that everything that comes out of my mouth is f***ing stupid as f Bro, yes, thank you, Logan. Like, it took you so long to recognize that the shit that comes out of your mouth is fucking stupid. And that's why I like you, bro. There's nothing wrong with people who are self-aware. I'm self-aware that I'm a fucking idiot, and the shit that I say that comes out of my mouth is fucking stupid. I'm an idiot, too. Anyways, let's go. That's us, too. We bro. hang out with each other. It's pretty uh, normal for us <laughs> to hear. Uh, the prescription, yeah. You ever thought about PRK? What you say now? PRK surgery for your eyes. I just got it. Talk about ago. LASIK or smile. PRK is different. PRK, you can fight with it and shit and get hit. Oh, oh, oh! I, I got a care package. Yeah, boys. Oh my God, Prime. Is there, is there go. a limit? How many you're allowed to have a day? Hey, when can I get some Prime, Logan? Because I can't just be reacting to this shit, stealing clips off of people's channels reacting to it even though I'm not a reaction channel and then putting it on my own YouTube channel and then I don't get any prime so I've, I've had four that's a prime example of you not giving back to the community even though you're in your prime I found Anyways, I'm done I'm done with it and shit and get hit. oh oh, oh. I, I got a care package yeah boys is there, is there a limit how many you're allowed to have a day? So I've, I've had four. I found that once you approach six, you're probably pushing it. Okay. I've had four today. Yeah, yeah. I do. I usually do five, but uh, I, I will say I, I drink water in between. There you go. Man, you don't drink your own product, bro. I want to see you drink it right now, Logan. Logan, drink it right now. There you go. But dude, LASIK or PRK surgery, he literally is a blind. I mean. What would you say? What would you say now? All right, he has one. He has one. He's blind or was, literally so. Wait, blind. yeah, 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 yeah. You had uh, you you had glasses. He just got yeah. surgery the other day. Twenty twenty vision. Wait, wait, perfect. Whoa, shut up. I oh, shut up. I see clear. Hey, that's clear. fire, Dude, bro. Congrats, and congratulations, bro, for getting your eyes fixed. Congratulations, bro. I think my eyesight is starting to get a little blurry because I used to have twenty twenty eye vision, and now I feel like I have two out of twenty eye vision. Call of Duty. He has to be. Prime isn't even that good, I'm going to be honest. I haven't tried Prime. You know, as a fellow ex-employee who, who used to work at Walmart, I used to see Prime a lot, and I never tried Prime. Uh, Wait, was Prime at Walmart? Maybe I didn't see it. Maybe I'm making shit up. I could have sworn I saw a bottle like that. What's what's What was your I know they have Mr. Beast shit inside of Walmart. Blind. Negative six. You were f***ing blind. One of my eye wandering around and shit. Oh, you had one of the lazy eyes. Kind of yeah. look like bubbles with my normal prescriptions. Oh, <laughs> wait, hold on. Bubbles from Trailer uh, Trailer Park Boys. And it, it, truthfully, explain to me what PRK is because my issue is I had LASIK mm -hmm. nine years ago. It's wearing off now. Really? Yeah, and so now I, 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 it's hard to see. Especially at a distance. Damn, you just kind of ruined that for him. This dude just got LASIK eye surgery, and you're telling him it's going to wear off in about nine years? No one wants to hear that right now. Keep it to yourself. Keep it for your wealth. They said 50 to 100 years for this one. And the, what the, the f*** are you 15 talking minute about? Surgery? Dude, the PRK you can fight with. LASIK, you get bumped, and it gets flapped. PRK oh is like, you're ready to rumble. Goodness. I guess uh, Charles Oliveira, he he just got it too. That was his first fight oh uh, getting God. the PRK. That's how you say his name, Oliveira. Olivier I thought it was Charles Oliveira. Hello, hello. <laughs> whatever you want to say. <laughs> this is sorry, good. I'm Portuguese. Uh, so, dude, like, whatever are we, you want to say. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Bitch, you been rolling. Let's go. Start talking some nonsense. Dude. Wow, this is so cool to me, Sean. I can I say some observations I've had. Let's hear it. I know it's your podcast, and like I'm gonna let you go, but I need to say some things. 
pulled into this parking chest. lot. I wasn't I wasn't sure what to expect. A little sketchy. I seen a Napa Valley Auto Parts. <laughs> I seen a Family Dollar. I seen Sugar Sean. Uh, I said, this is weird. Bro, where's this fucking podcast set at? In a fucking hood? You got a Family Dollar over there. You are in the hood. Did I walk? You were in, or, you're, or you're just in an average neighborhood, but there should never be a Family Dollar near a rich person. Into this, what looks like a renovated haunted house. <laughs> like outside there, bro, it looks like a, a carnival. <laughs> There's like, the plaza. I thought he was going to say some nice shit. Like, hey, man. I know this is your platform, but I just got to let you know something. I'm a huge fan of you. You're fighting and blah, blah, blah. But no, he's just like, no, I look like I pulled up to a haunted house. Your parking lot is fucked up. You got family dollar and all this cheap shit around this building. I don't know where the fuck I am. This is too cheap for my expensive taste. I thought he was going to say some nice shit. That's my center right there where I, crackheads go to get like a hundred bucks or whatever. See, that makes sense. That's sick. And then I walk into the gym, which is where we are. We're like in the back corner of yep. a back gym. Tim's gym. Tim, this place. I think it was only in Walmarts. Oh, shit. Because uh, I'm, I'm curious about that, too. Oh, God, if I ever get rich, I don't want to live within a 50-mile radius of a family dollar. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, if you rich or you got a, enough money, you shouldn't even be near a family dollar. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with shopping at a family dollar or even living near a family dollar. I live near a family dollar. There's one, like, right down the street within walking distance. But that's the problem is that I'm broke. I'm allowed to have a family dollar. You got money. You shouldn't be living near a family dollar. Your fucking establishment shouldn't even be near a family dollar, bro. Your fucking podcast studio might get broken into for just fucking being around the area. But there's nothing to steal besides that uh, that fucking wall design with crayon on it. And I don't even think that's a painting. I think they just colored the wall with crayon or something. With m m fucking paint or something. It's fucking smells, brother. Does it? <laughs> it's smelly, dude. Bro, Kevin, you know admit, why? You, it, there's a aroma, dude. You know, there's why? an aroma in the air. Shut the AC off, and the aroma, dude. You know why? Because this morning I shut the AC off, and they've been watching washing the mats with bleach, and I said the bleach smells like shit. They're like, no, the bleach smells good. It nope, doesn't. No, it, doesn't. I, it doesn't usually. It does have a weirder smell today, but it doesn't usually stink. Doug, but because I shut the AC off, it's not the bleach. It is. <laughs> it is. I can smell uh, the double leg takedowns. <laughs> yeah, brother. Yeah. yeah. It's in, well, <laughs> the, the, right across the hall, there's a legendary. De uh, what is it? Power lift. Power lift. I saw, I saw that too. I saw that too. I ain't gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. After watching that Andrew Tate and Shino Molly podcast where they were holding microphones in their hands. This is not too bad. You know, once your arms start to wear out, I can easily just put it back inside of my microphone stand. But if I want to like relax a little bit and lean back in my chair, I can just hold it in my hand. That's not a bad setup. Thank you guys. You know, I know I roasted you guys about not having microphone stands, but this was actually a helpful tip. You know, I never even thought about just holding my microphone in my hand. So thank you. So you are you guys just in a in a plaza of badassery and combat sports? Like why? What are we doing? It's cheap, baby. Nice. Fucking testosterone clinic down a couple <laughs> doors down. Is that what I'm getting a whiff of? <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a, yeah, this place is fucking kick-ass. But we're out in, like, Peoria, dude. There's not a lot of going on out here. I live 20 minutes that way. Tim lived 20 minutes that way. Scottsdale, the fun place. Yeah. Scottsdale. We're not close to that for a reason. Yeah. We can't be over there. That, you know how I like to party. That's where I came from. Yeah. Sean O'Malley looks like if uh, I'm not racist, I have black friends, was an actual person. That's what O'Malley, uh, Sean O'Malley looks like. I we don't live over there for a reason. Is away it, from butt cheeks. Away from that, the butt. So cheeks. the butt cheeks are in Scottsdale. Yes. The butt cheeks are in Scottsdale and Tempe. Okay. So heavy. I haven't so, been partying as much. So it's like um, an old folks' home over here. Yes. You can't have been partying that much. I mean, I, I'll also take this time to say, holy. Check out this Naruto headband. You guys know what it is. Everybody, if you fuck with me. Buy you a Naruto headband and wear it every time we stream. Even if I'm not wearing one, you have to have a headband on. Everybody has to have a headband on. This is like um, an old folks' home over here. Yes, you can't have been partying that much. I mean, no. I, I'll also take this time to say, holy shit, guys, fucking congrats, Thanks, congrats brother. on what you just accomplished from the bottom of my heart. I mean, you saw the the reaction that was video, fire. Of me. bro. I was so happy for you. You're like, bro, you're a good friend. And truthfully, Sean, 
I was so nervous for you going into that. A lot fight, of people though. were fucking. Yeah, I mean, I was dude, one of them, dog. I, I was, was fighting the number one killer from Russia who's been training his entire life. <laughs> and he has savage <laughs> highlights videos. <laughs> finished Jose Aldo, finished uh, Uriah Faber, like beat these legends. Yeah. And I'm going in there unranked, well, not ranked in the top 10. And everyone thought I was going to get smacked. Of course. But yo, he, Peter Yan is fucking dog. dog. And that fight where he got DQ'd for kneeing yeah. Aljamain in the face, he was beating Aljamain. Yeah. He sh he should have been like the champ. Like yeah. I can yeah. I consider him probably like the best in A lot of people in do. the division. I I have to ask how the f that affect your mental? Like how did you how did you weather that? The thing about going into that fight, a lot of it I didn't see the fight that they're talking about. If any of you guys saw the fight, you know, let's talk about it in the comment sections, even though I never saw the fight. I might watch the fight live on stream, but I won't post the clips or I might um, watch it off stream. But I do want to watch it, though. Unanswered questions. Do I have the dog in me? No one's got to really see it. I've known I've had it. I've been training for 12 years. I've had gym wars with killers and like been able to be in those positions to where it's like, you can give up. And I knew I wasn't going to give up. So I, I knew I had that in me. Tim knew I had it in me. My team knew I had it. That was just the first time we had to bring it out. The first time I saw it. And I, and I said, I know Peter's going to bring out the best version of me. I thought Pedro Munoz was going to. He came in there spazzing, acting like he's playing soccer, just spamming the kick button, didn't really do anything. Um, so Peter brought it out of me, fucking brought that dog out and fucking. Where'd you watch the fight at, Logan? Where was I? In, I was in Miami. On my Ooh. mobile device, because, you know, going from A to B, and great card that night, and not to discredit any of the other UFC fighters that night, but I only cared about Sean's. And it was also in the Middle East, right? So it was like 2 p.m., yeah. prime work hours. I, I was pulling up my phone because I saw this meme. I'm sure you've seen it. <laughs> yeah. Former former champion, best boxer in UFC. I was about to say, they should pull the meme up on the screen, and they did. So the editors, thank you, bro. Thank you, editors. You guys are beautiful for what you do. The number one contender. <laughs> yeah. Former former champion, best boxer in UFC, number one contender, most uh, complete fighter in UFC, top 10 pound for pound of the world, Peter Yan. And, and you got Sugar like, Sean O'Malley. I don't know if y'all can fucking zoom in on this, well, but Sugar well, Sean O'Malley just smoking a fucking J, having a good time. What about, what about the picture? You know what I just thought of? Imagine Sean O'Malley, a world-renowned champion fighter, right? Imagine he wants to join a gang, right? And you got to get jumped in the gang. He's going to beat everybody's fucking ass. So if he wants to be a gang member, it would be very easy for him to step into that lane. I mean, as far as like getting jumped in and having to fight a group of people, he'll be knocking people out left and right, bro. They said the three the three judges were like the three guys wearing the uh, pink afros in the, fa in the crowd. <laughs> they said the three Those judges. guys were amazing. <laughs> nah, bro, you had... You had support all over the world. You're such a you're such a fun fighter, and like, I think what's puzzling to a lot of people, and me too, is like you do have so much fun as a human. You said neither did I, bro. I ain't see it. Yeah, me neither, bro. I didn't get a chance to catch it, bro. But I wish I did. I didn't even. I'm not really too uh, in depth with uh, who's fighting and what sports is going on and shit. I'm too busy editing videos and shit. But such a I heard about it, so I'll look it up. You're such a fun fighter, and like, I think what's puzzling to a lot of people, and me too, is like, you do have so much fun as a human, and you're so dope, but then you got this killer in you or something. I don't know what it yeah. is, but that thing's that thing inside you. We saw it that night. Yeah, people don't people don't see like the 12 weeks, the three months that led up to that fight, and then five weeks before that, three months was another three months leading up to Pedro. For the last seven months, I was in camp for six of them. Like when I'm in camp, I'm not. You don't see me at the clubs. You don't see me. I don't go out, dude. I'm I'm dialed in in this fucking gym. Yeah. Like twice a day, doing what I need to do. So, it just I, I think people don't see that obviously because I don't post a ton of training content. Mm. So I I don't think people obviously it's not their fault, but they gotta see. You don't you don't go and do what I did without putting in the work. You just I, I can't. think I think that's what you showed people. Yeah. What do you think about? The thousands of people that comment robbed this is sean o'malley's podcast and uh seems like logan paul is running the podcast and that's the issue with fucking interviewing interviewers logan paul has his own show what is it called uh compact impact 
uh, fuck, what is this fucking show called? Snowball. What is this show called? Impulsive, right. Impulsive, I remember now. He has his own podcast called Impulsive. And when you interview a person who does interviews for a living, it just gets tough because he's just going to flip the tables on you. So you got to very quickly let him ask his questions just so you can have a fluid conversation and flip that shit right back. Start asking him questions. Just start recognizing that the reason he's asking you questions is because you're not asking him much of anything. At least not right now. We can't really say that for sure, though, because it's a pretty early. Peter Young. I, I, it, I would feel a certain way. If I didn't rewatch the fight and think I won, the first round is, and I'm a little biased to myself, maybe, but dude, the first <laughs> round, if you judge it on damage, and I think a lot of people initially thought it, but a lot of people that rewatched it have came out and said, if you're judging on damage, which is the number one criteria in, in a fight, yeah. I won the first round. You I can't, agree. I, I totally I agree. I won the first round and I easily won the third round. So it's it's it was pretty clear to me a robbery is all the people that are saying it's a robbery all the people that fucking hate me and were saying that I was gonna get smoked and shouldn't even be in there with them they were they're pissed. all the same people how can people hate you Sean <sighs> dude hating confidence people hate confidence they, hate they Jake. fucking what? hate it bro. I don't know why they hate him because I don't dislike him at all but I would think that a lot of it has to do with the way he looks that's all I'm saying bro do they though I they hate other people's confidence because they're insecure bro not hate is so close to love it is this fucking close to love the opposite of hate is not love it's indifference they're gonna be lovers in a couple fights oh the opposite of hate is not love it's indifference no it's hate motherfucker i hate that you just said that and that's the opposite of me loving what you just said <laughs> Stop trying to be a philosophical person. You're not a full, full fucking philosopher. You're Logan Paul. Stay that way. Oh, bro, I mean, how can you, how can you discredit that performance? That's absurd. The fact that it's even a conversation for them to comment. I heard a, I heard a notification. What does that mean? Robbed when you were not even ranked in the top 10 and you beat one of the best fighters in the division is ridiculous Um, I nothing happened so far the inter the interview just started. They've just kind of been talking about not really much um So nothing informational yet just a little warm-up in the in the in the chat. So yeah, welcome and I noticed it's your first time chatting, bro. I appreciate you taking the first step. Everybody has to do their little milestones. And if you're wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wearing my old Walmart uniform. The fucking Walmart hoodie shirt thing. So anyways, here we go. Oh, I just subscribed. That was the notifications. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that for sure. Oh, my gosh. That doesn't happen often. I was going to get smoked and shouldn't even be in there with them. They were They're all the same people. How can people hate you, Sean? <sighs> Dude, hating confidence. People hate confidence. They, hate they Jake. fucking what? hate it, bro. Do they, though? I, they hate other people's <clears throat> confidence because they're insecure. Bro, not, hate oh. is so close to love. It is this fucking close to love. The opposite of hate is not love. It's indifference. They're going to be lovers in a couple fights. Oh, bro, bro, I mean, how can you, how can you discredit that performance? That's absurd. The fact that it's even a conversation. I should try that prime drink. I want to try it. Like, I just want to taste test it. I just want to see what it tastes like a little bit. For them to comment robbed when you were not even ranked in the top 10 and you beat one of the best fighters in the division is ridiculous. And I see the comments and I'm like, damn, you know, I've been there. I've been there where, where you work your fucking ass oh. off and people try to discredit you and it... I, I heard that Logan Paul and KSI sold Prime to um, Coca-Cola for, what was it, $5 billion or something like that. If that's true, they both took home about $2.5 billion each, making them both billionaires. Is that true? Do you guys know if that's true? I don't know if that's true, but if so, that's a smart move. That's a very smart move. And of course, Coca-Cola is trying to run over a competitor, of course, but still smart move nonetheless. I know it stings a little bit, but like, bro, I'm here to tell you, fuck them people. Yeah. Fuck all of them, yeah. dog. You you won that fucking fight. I saw it with my own eyes, and I think uh, there's a lot of non-fighters pretending they're fighters because they watch the UFC for a long yeah. time, deciding what the criteria is for a winning performance. And like, you haven't heard about that? Here, let me just fact check real quick. 
Logan, I mean, uh, Coca Cola buys Prime. It was bought. Hold on, let me let me see. I don't know how credible this website is. So, Coca Cola acquires Prime Hydration for ten billion dollars. Is that real? What? Prime Hydration is a sports drink. Uh, skip all that bullshit. Skip it. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. What are they, bitch? Did they buy it or not? Yeah, I don't know. It seems like that website is fucking flaky, bro. I don't trust it. I don't know if that's information. I don't know if that's correct. I just don't know. That's why That's why I question it. But if so, it would be a smart move, though. Uh, though. I mean, Tim, I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but when you take someone down... If you don't do anything with it, like what what does that what does that rank in terms of uh, the judging? Yeah, exactly. Dude, every judge is gonna look at it different. They really are, but the criteria is fucking damage. Damage, right? And when he's on top, and when Peter's on top of Sean, and Sean's throwing up triangles and omoplatas, <laughs> what where are they are judging it? Peter's the one defending off the attacks. Yeah. But dude, I rewatched it this morning. That third round, the third round was fucking insane. Yeah. That one well, knee that fucking barely skipped by his head. No, it w or the yeah, well the second round too when Sean cracked him and then Peter cracked him. Oh, Dog, fucking yo, back. That was I crazy. was losing my shit. That's when we saw that that Ooh, part of you that you said you hadn't gone shit. before. Yeah. Yo, what? Be honest with me. That left hand hurt. What happened, that bro? That fucking left hand hurt. Dude, I cracked him. I thought I was gonna put him <laughs> me away. Me too. Fuck, he's. We both stand southpaw, and he, dude. He's a master of boxing. He's, I mean, that's, he's a black belt in boxing, and he just hit me with a nice left hand. But the thing is, I fucking, <laughs> I hit him with a left hand. He cooked his face with that left hand. And then I kind of flurried, hit him with the right hand, dropped him to his knee. Mm. I, I technically dropped him yeah. in the second round. He didn't drop me. He hit me with that left hand and then took me down. Yeah. He didn't drop yeah. me. So that second round's a lot closer than people think because he did get on top, but he didn't do a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 30 well, 27 me. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> two, two. You see how he gave that other fighter credit and then instantly switched it back on himself? Like, yeah, that other dude hit me with a clean one. But yeah, he ain't take me to my knee. I, f I did a fucking suplex on his ass. I hit him with the RKO. It's like, dude, let him get his fucking credit, bro. It's like, you already won the fight. We already know how that went. Did you win? I mean, they are talking about the fight that he won, right? Two of the takedowns in the I'm telling you between now Dude, and what the fuck fuck this advertisement bro i don't care what you have to say what the fuck bro seven me fuck you guys <laughs> two, two of the takedowns in the third were failed takedown attempts yeah. by you um i just two. whoa I did y'all notice that look at his shirt and look at that painting in the background it's almost identical it looked like someone took the same paintbrush and then rubbed it on his shirt. There were failed takedown attempts yeah. by you. Um, I just, dude. I don't, I, I, I'm not a fucking MMA judge, but as a viewer, as someone who has been watching UFC fights and I was a fighter, uh, you could take someone down, but if you don't do anything with it and you're equalized when you're, even if you're on top, like what, who gives a fucking shit? Yeah. And, and, and then you escape and, and do you support Andrew Tate? Um, this is how I'll put it. I like Andrew Tate. I like Andrew Tate's personality. I like him as a character just because I think he's funny overall. But not because he tries to be funny. I just think he's a funny character overall. Just a funny person to type of person to be alive. But uh, anyways... I don't I like his personality. I don't support everything he says, but I do like a lot of what he says, but I don't take it to heart uh myself. I don't know. I feel like he mixes in a lot of good with a lot of the <laughs> fucking uh, bullshit. He mixes in a lot of the good stuff with the bullshit. So, it's really hard to fully accept the ideologies he's trying to put forth into the atmosphere, if you get what I'm saying. So, uh, I'm neutral about Andrew Tate, If to answer your question in layman's terms, right? And, and, and get up and striking, punch him in the face. It's fucking tomorrow. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. In the past interview, ain't he say he didn't want to give Tate a platform now? 
bro saying the opposite. Uh, who are you saying? Sean O'Malley didn't want to give bro a platform, or are you saying Logan Paul didn't want to give Andrew Tate a platform? I know that they were straying away from fighting for quite a while, but it seems like Logan Paul's been training in the background secretly, and now he's ready for some Andrew Tate. Especially, I know he watched that Andrew Tate interview with Sean O'Malley, so he knows where uh, Andrew Tate's weak points are. He said he had some issues with his hands, or uh, I mean, with his feet or some shit, and that's why he's fine with doing mixed martial arts, because he knows that Andrew Tate has a little bit of a handicap in his foot, and I know he watched that podcast. I know he did. Ridiculous, you know. Yeah. The, so you gotta chill. You're gonna become the bullshit guy. I know. That's what I was saying, bro. I don't want to become the fucking bullshit guy. I don't want to become the fucking bullshit guy, bro. Where people see me in the street in the future and be like, "Hey, say it's fucking bullshit, bro. Say it's fucking bullshit." Anyway, anyways, bro. I just I was so hyped for you, man. I was so I was so proud. Everyone thought I had money on the fight. I wish. I wish I, I, I didn't bet. A bet lot money. of people. I was like a four to one underdog when it first came I know, out. And I know. a lot of people fucking cashed some serious cheddar. I, I would have I fucking. It's ner Dude, betting on fights. I guess I'm not even technically allowed to anymore. They just came out with a new rule. But betting on fights is always so fucking risky. Even when you think you know. What are they saying? They came up with a new rule for fighters. Like fighters can no longer bet on UFC fights. Do you think it's because they would be too knowledgeable in the situation? I don't know what the new rule is, but I'm guessing that's what it would be. And why he couldn't vote or some? I mean, why he couldn't bet no more on fighting sports or something? That's I like don't know. Fucking coin flip, dog. I bet I I went to Vegas. I had Tyron Woodley on my podcast. He said he was gonna be, oh, beat Kamaru Usman. I remember Usman. this. I remember that. I was like, fucking bet, bro. <laughs> went to Vegas with like four K, turned it into twenty on roulette. I was like, Tyron said oh, on my podcast he's fuck. gonna win twenty K on Tyron Woodley. Hasn't won since. No oh, god. <laughs> god damn. Fuck. Don't bet on me, brother. That's Dude. when that's when I stopped betting on fights. So how has the training been for WWE? Is it rigorous? Is it fucking, does it beat up your body? Or what's it like, the yeah. training? Yeah. Well, you can follow him on Snapchat. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> I've been watching on oh! Snapchat. Oh! Hey, by the way, is that my tight? Do you have a tight on me? Or like, I'm just curious how the, how the shots are. Is that a two shot? That's a two shot. And this is a wide? Uh, this is, uh, beginning is wide. Back and forth. Oh, 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 you're handheld. Fuck yeah, we got we got we got a guy like you. We call him. Dane, there's a handheld guy there. That fucking sucks. I would hate to be a cameraman for a podcast show that's holding a camera, bro. Cause what happens when your arm gets tired? Nothing, bitch. You better keep recording, bitch. We're still talking, motherfucker. Caleb. 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 Is he Mexican? Uh, uh no, he's what is Caleb? Like <laughs> Ah. Are you sure? Yeah. Guaranteed as it works hard as Jay. From a while. <laughs> From a while. Oh, yeah. But he looks like Greek or something. <laughs> right? Great um, white. Well, let me tell you something about WWE, bro. If you ever meet me in real life, you're going to refer to me as the bullshit guy. Hey, at least if you do, I'll know exactly which one of my uh, which one of my viewers it was because of what what you just said. So I'll know it's you, Solos. <laughs> right? Great um, white. Well, let me tell you something about WWE, bro. <laughs> right? Great um, white. Well, let me tell you something about WWE, bro. That shit is hard. I bet. Oh. As fuck. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. Who's the oldest guy in there that's still training as hard as you guys? Ooh. It's got to be Rey Mysterio. Great Rey answer. Rey Mysterio? 100%. He is a... Rey Mysterio is still in the game? Are you talking about the Boyaka Boyaka? 619! Boyaka Boyaka! I forgot the rest of the lyrics, but you get it. That nigga was fucking fire, bro. I didn't even watch WWE, but whenever I would see Rey Mysterio come out... I'll be like, woo! I know he about to start doing backflips, cartwheels, and all types of somersaults on a motherfucker. Like, this nigga done did 10 years of gymnastics and shit. Fucking legend. And he is so good at what he does. Fucking legend. Fucking legend! And he is so good at what he is a fucking legend legend and he is so good at what he does i mean he's he's like the greatest luchador of all time who transitioned to wwe and uh i i, I worked with him at wrestlemania this year and i i just couldn't believe the shit he was doing like just an athlete Black it's belt. It, athlete is an understatement i don't know how he i don't know how he does these moves at his age what pushing 40 50 50 dude Damn. he just had his tw his his 20 year i think anniversary in the wwe and 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 jesus 20 I, god damn. damn 20 years spent flipping and doing backflips and cra uh cartwheels and shit that's a long time bro i would figure your muscles would be sore by then but i'm sure his body's uh 
used to it by now. The 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 training is rigorous because it it hurts your body. Like you're guaranteed to get hurt. You're guaranteed to hurt. Like um, you know, in MMA, in boxing, it, you could be sore and and you'll you'll probably take some shots to the face most yeah. likely. But like with WWE, this stuff is so unorthodox and unnatural like like the human body i don't think should be bent and turned and twisted and slammed in in the way that it is repeatedly and so you have to get good at it yeah as a human you shouldn't be able to be turned into a fucking pretzel if you're able to be turned into a lawn chair or a pretzel or a fucking omelet then something's not right with your body bro with technique but what makes it difficult is the 360 degree nature of the art form and i say art form intentionally because like bro you have to put on a performance, not just not just for you, for the sixty thousand people watching. I liken it. I liken insane. it to this, bro. When I'm boxing, I'm worried about one person. Mm -hmm. Myself. When I'm wrestling, I'm worried about sixty thousand people. Damn. It's my job to make sure they're having a good time. They're getting their their, their money's worth. That I'm doing every little nuanced technique move. Uh, storytelling all melted in the same little thing on live fucking television. It's you can't insane. fuck up. It's hard, dude. On oh, live fucking television, bro. I'm a narcissist. And I prefer to WWE. And the chairs are uh, storytelling all melted in the same little thing on live television fucking television you can't fuck up him just saying live fucking television gets his narcissistic meat hard i know it does it's hard dude and the chairs aren't plastic oh fuck. <laughs> was everyone pretty welcoming all the other wrestlers and everything or were there some guys that were kind of like douches whoa take those fucking glasses off bro you're tripping i don't even know why you put those motherfuckers on your fucking face what the fuck is that those glasses are awful let alone why are you wearing sunglasses inside of a fucking building you don't look cool you look fucking dumb i know you could beat my ass you ufc world champion fighting motherfucker but that is ridiculous those glasses are fucking awful they're damn near goggles that willy wonka will wear in his chocolate factory that's fucking ridiculous bro take this ketchup hair motherfucker and mother bro this nigga's not even asking questions for real for real. he's not asking questions for real logan paul is running his fucking interview show bro like what the fuck um truthfully i keep to myself um i imagine i imagine there there are a few wrestlers who have a problem with me going for the title in my third match mm -hmm. like that's ridiculous and i acknowledge that but I don't acknowledge the tribal chief, and I'm going to fuck him up in Saudi Arabia. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Double dubs in Middle East. We're waiting for yeah, that. Maybe. Saudi. That, yeah. Double that dubs. Weekend? Next weekend. Yeah, that's right. Insane. Next weekend, you guys want to watch that fight? Logan Paul fighting somebody in a different country? Whatever his name is, we're going to figure out. Oh, it said WWE. If it's WWE, I'm not watching that shit. Well, chief, and I'm going to fuck him up in Saudi Arabia. Let's go. <laughs> Double dubs in Middle East? Yeah, maybe. Saudi. Let, yeah. When is that one again? Next weekend. Yeah, that's right. Insane. Dude. He said double dubs in the Middle East. If it's WWE, well, it really depends on what the script says, motherfucker. He might or may not lose. It depends on what the script says. East? Yeah, maybe. Saudi. Let, yeah. When is that one again? Next weekend. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Do you think Logan Paul would be a boxer doing all this shit that he does if he didn't lose his deal with Disney? Because if he didn't lose his deal with Disney, do you think he would have more of a family-friendly image and shit like that? That's right. Insane, Damn. dude. Fuck. But, uh, or was it Jake Paul that lost the deal with, with Disney? They're twins. It's hard to tell them apart. I don't know which one had to deal with Disney. Uh, Your yeah. sleep's Are you going out? What, when are you going out? Sunday, you said? I'm not going out. What do you mean? To Saudi. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> nah, nah. No. nah, I'm going, uh, I'm going on, uh, uh, Tuesday. And I imagine. Scorpy, uh, Scorpy Wee. Hey, what's up, bro? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. The stream is over when the interview ends. And the interview is already, um, pretty underway. But they haven't talked about anything important. So welcome to the stream. I'm trying to get an average of three viewers. My average view viewer rate right now is 2.7. So anybody that is willing to stick around or lurk or pop in and out, I really appreciate that. Thank you. The stream will be over very soon, though.
and thank you. If you guys missed the stream, that's perfectly okay. I chop up the streams and I put them on my YouTube channel before you leave or anything like that. Let me show you my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is right here. Please relax. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. Please. Just one second. One second. Just give me one second. Now, so, so, As you can let's, see, let's some my most popular video just reached 9,000 views, so give it up. Oh, by the way, I just reached 300 subscribers today. I literally just reached it as I woke up today, and we're at 308 right now, so that's cool. So, guys, go ahead and subscribe. Evil YXOF. Get me to 310, maybe? <laughs> Possibly. Please? <laughs> maybe? Okay, it's okay. I'll stop begging for subscribers. I'm a bitch anyways. I'm a bitch. <laughs> I'm wearing a Walmart hoodie. I'm wearing a Walmart shirt because I quit my job, and then I thought it would be pretty cool or funny to wear my old work uniform on the stream. I'm a jobless loser who's on Twitch trying to become famous because I'm a fucking bitch. So if you could help my bitch ass out with some subscriptions or something, that would be amazing. Let's get back into the stream. I feel 90% of Disney stars turn to a non-family friendly character. And yeah, I, I agree. I agree with that. <laughs> nah, I'm going, uh, I'm going on a... Uh uh tuesday and i imagine my sleep schedule will be a little fucked up because i'll have like three days to adjust to like a what 13 hour time yeah, difference bro, we went out we went out early for that reason yeah, yeah I, I heard you fucked were there for two up. weeks yeah 17 days total had, you have to you have to had to bro yeah, i'm just gonna have to suck it up to be honest i'm gonna land if anyone can do it, it's you you're fucking what is that head what is this like what what is that on the go 24 7. We, we do this shit you know we're used to it. we travel um is pain pills like heavy with all the guys? Their bodies just like. Ugh. So, Andrew Tate said that Logan Paul is on steroids. Do you guys believe that? Because ha have, did you see the way Logan Paul looked a few years ago and how bulky he is now? And I heard that a lot of people who's fighting arm, you know, they kind of take a little bit of steroids to help with the bulkiness. Do you think Andrew? Do you think Logan Paul is on steroids like Andrew Tate says? I want to see Logan Logan Paul get a drug test. I want to see him get a drug test. Again, bro, I've uh, I kind of keep to myself. I don't yeah. really like in general. I don't like people. Mm -hmm. I'm an introvert, and I find that it is getting harder and harder for me to give my energy to strangers. Dude, that's our life. It's like I got my <laughs> circle, bro. I got my girl. I got, I got I got my my partners and yeah. work. And if I'm not working, and if I'm not doing leisure, you see, I wish I was famous enough. To not give a fuck about my supporters. But right now, the fact that I don't have any supporters, I have to give a fuck about everybody. And even if I make it and become famous, I'm still going to be be like giving a fuck. And then I'm just going to start putting other people on. Once I get to the point to where like I don't give a fuck about my fame, I'm just going to start putting other people on. Because why not? Why not? Fuck it. It couldn't hurt me to help other people. I'm chilling. I'm, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I'm not really looking... I'm not sure of the time frame. What I'm not sure of the time frame will make sense. It takes around a few years to build up such a body mass, and who knows what he was doing for the past few years after after the Japan incident. That's true. After the Japan incident, uh, that in that suicidal forest, who knows what he was doing? Probably hitting a bunch of push-ups and stuff, beating his meat a bunch, and just really, uh, you know, getting his strength up. Looking for new friends yeah. at all i know yeah, but really. but but there are some really good people in but the you also gotta think he have he has a lot of money so he also could have just bought bought a bunch of personal trainers or a really good personal trainer got around the right people maybe uh, you never know wwe and like i need i should get out there and and what's more learn from them like start picking brains i just <sighs> so much energy to talk to people dude, dude it really is just yeah pointless conversations sometimes are like no no that's what I, like what are we talking about here and like how, it, but the right friendships are are effortless right yep. and and the and the and you you gain energy but i just feel like i'm constantly just being drained just drained yeah. just drained and so i'm, I'm are you so good protective. at saying no to like events like hey you want to come out it's like fuck no, no, no. It's not I a am. fuck yes. It's a fuck no. Now I am the power yeah. of no, baby. Dude, yeah, you got to learn that. That's like Harness. one of the most important things. You know, from what I've learned in my life, <clears throat> no means yes, motherfucker. Oh no, that means oh yes. No, I'm joking. No does not mean yes. Okay, I was joking. Okay, it's a fucking joke. Okay. I think it's something you always hear from the the, top, the smartest people in the world. Learning how to say no. Yeah, it's so fucking important. I agree. It's it's a it's a double edged sword because 
each opportunity. Jake Paul was on Disney, not Logan. Oh, so I was wrong. Okay. Well, thank you for the correction. I appreciate that. It's, it's all circumstantial, yeah. right? Yeah. Like I'm someone who's, who, who, who also says, say yes to everything. Go do shit, right? <laughs> yeah. But, but if it comes at the cost of your peace of mind yeah. and your energy tank, you got to, you got to know when to balance that shit out. One other thing, everything I just said does not apply if I'm fucked up in the slightest. <laughs> if I'm drunk or smoking, yo, yo, let's chat, yeah. dog. Yeah. I will talk to anyone, the, the, the stranger on the side. If I'm drunk or smoking, yeah, let's chat, motherfucker. That sounds like anxiety to me. That sounds like social anxiety. You mean you have to be inebriated in order to have a conversation with somebody? That sounds like a fucking pussy. You sound like a fucking bitch, Logan. If I ever needed to fucking drink a little bit of alcohol or anything like that in order to have a simple conversation with my fellow human beings, then I, motherfucker, would love to label myself as a fucking bitch. Because I don't think it's that deep. It's not that deep. You should not need to be inebriated to have a conversation with somebody. That's pussy ass shit, you fucking pussy. That does not apply if I'm fucked up in the slightest. If I'm <laughs> drunk or smoking, yo, yo, let's chat, yeah. dog. Yeah. I will talk to anyone, the, the, the stranger on the sidewalk, the clerk. Like, I, I don't give a fuck. I love people. But as a sober person now, training and everything, like. It's us, brother. It's us. It really Alcohol is crazy. I, w I went through a little phase. Can you imagine that? I need drugs to open up. I need my daily dose of drugs in order for me to have a normal conversation with people. When I fucking was part. That's a stupid ass excuse. So you mean to tell me if I say hi to you, you won't say hi to me because you don't have drugs in your system? Get your bitch ass up out of here. Get your bitch ass out of here. Party and I just was craving it. And I knew that I was like, well, I'm craving it now. I'm just going to do it. So weird, like after that last fight, we went out in Dubai Sunday night, but I just don't have a desire. I don't really have, I thought I was going to, I'm like, I just beat the number one guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But dude, I have I, my desires to feel healthy and fucking get back to work. No way. Yeah, I feel good. What? Dude, dude, wrong, Sean. I, I did know. not expect that. I know, me neither. Well, you're a smart kid, dude. And you know, oh. now, from now on, it's top five guys. Yeah. It's, a, it's wow. like, fuck, bro. <laughs> it's top <laughs> five guys from we, now on. We were somewhere. Ugh. Of the many places we've randomly been together. And Tim, you said to Sean, I think this act was actually on our podcast. On our podcast, the first time y'all came on, y you said to Sean, you're like, yo, there's going to be a point where we got to get it together. When, when, when the competition starts to ramp up and, and the horizon's looking brighter than ever, we got to collect ourselves and lock the fuck in and cut the partying yeah. and shit. Which, which is going to happen because, bro, you're on... You're on the trajectory to be one of the best in the world, if yeah. not the best in the fucking world. And he and he knows it more than anyone. He doesn't even need a coach to tell him yeah, that. Yeah. He's a fucking smart kid. But dude, with both you guys and even Jake, it's so impressive. Like anyone can teach teach you the skills you have or the skills you have or or Jake the skills he has. But you guys go and fucking perform under that yeah. pressure. You show up and you can put it on under all that fucking pressure. It's so impressive. Like, is it just a natural thing or where the fuck do you guys think it comes from? Guys, let's take- No, 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 no. I am so sick of this dude, the way he does his fucking sponsorships. He's so clever with it too. They'll just be talking about shit and he'll just flash that damn sponsorship in the middle of your fucking face. And that shit will blind the fuck out of you. If you're epileptic, I feel sorry for your dumb ass. You're probably shaking on the floor right now. The shit just flashes in your fucking face, bro. I don't get how people have a dependency on it, but they do. Uh, I get it. I get how they have a dependency. Once you take it, you start get, getting addicted to drugs. I mean, not you don't get addicted just from taking it once. It's like you got to like it. And uh, I don't know. Once you enjoy what it does for you, you just keep going back to whatever feeling you got out of it. And once a lot of people take drugs and they're like, oh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, where it was like immediate death or something like that, then that's what gets them hooked onto it. And just how much fun you can have while taking drugs. It depends on the point in time where you're taking it and everything. So I can see how people get addicted to drugs. I just don't see how um, people get addicted to drugs for so long. No, I'm joking. I can see how people get addicted. I don't even know, bro. But it happens. It is what it is. Take a quick second here. Oh, right. This sponsorship. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip. 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 It's a long ass sponsorship, my dude. 
What the fuck? That's a long ass sponsorship. Patreon.com slash Red Hawk Academy. Um, check it out, boys. Enjoy the rest of the show. It's a good question. I feel it takes a special person to do that because you can teach anyone the techniques. I think it's a certain mindset that you kind of understand that you need to have. Like this is, I know I need to think like this to perform like this because I remember going to my first fights as, you know, a young buck. I wasn't didn't think like this, so I, I think I just learned how to have the right mindset going into performances. What the fuck? Commercial laughter, commercial laughter, sponsorship. Hey, get the fuck out of here with the fuck. Nobody using boom boxes anymore. Who the fuck is using boom boxes? Nobody. I don't give a fuck how cool it looks. He's trying to bring boom boxes back, bro. If I had to boil it down, when you're put in these high pressure environments, your fight or flight reaction kicks in. And I ain't never been a bitch, bro. <laughs> I, I ain't no fucking pussy. Greg Paul did not raise me that way. So I'm a fight. Or do my best that night anyways. Some nights are better than others. Every fighter knows this. Every performer knows this. There's gonna be some nights that are tough as hell. That you're gonna have to you're gonna have to jump some hurdles in your brain that you didn't think you were going to because you maybe feel a little sick that day. Maybe uh you got an injury, week of the fight, whatever it is, like it, it's it it is tough as fucking fuck to rise up to the challenge sometimes, but don't be a bitch, dog. Yeah. Right. Fight, 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 fight. Perform. Fight. Do your job. Yeah. Do Perform your job. Everybody. It is work. It's even more impressive, though, too, when guys go out there and they get knocked out cold and embarrassed and then come back and maybe win the title again. Like or Aljo. Come back and win. Aljo got knocked out by Marlon Reyes. Knocked out cold, came back, won the title. I love Takes these stories. Takes a special fucking human. Yeah. I love these stories. Because I'm sure you guys have seen them as well. You also see on the flip side. Dudes break oh, yeah. after after they get that cold clock knockout. Never the same fighter. Yep. Never the same fighter. Sometimes they never fight again. Mm -hmm. You lose. Sometimes that they just don't recover. That, that, that sometimes they just don't recover at all. Embarrassment is too much for you to handle. It's it's in a macro sense another case of fight or flight. Like yeah. wh how tough are you, dog? And, and and losses, no matter how big or small, are a part of life. And. We've seen dudes get knocked out. These are my favorite stories, and it's the comeback. Mm -hmm. It's the comeback. Everyone loves the comeback story. You know what I'm saying? When you have that's true. I agree with Logan Paul on that. Like everybody loves a fucking comeback story. The guy who lost, and then he comes back, and you expect him to lose again, and he just completely dominates or he wins overall. That's that underdog story. Everybody loves to root for the underdog, but everybody's just scared to root for the underdog because they just don't know where it's gonna go. And they, they're afraid to take their chances and if they lose out on somebody who wasn't worth it. You know what I mean? So I definitely agree on Logan Paul. It's definitely fun to uh, watch the underdog rise to the occasion. Nowhere to go. Even like to relate it to something that's happening now. Fucking Deji, dude. Deji KSI's brother lost, I think, three, four fights in a row. In a row. Comes back, beats this guy named Fusi, and in two weeks is fighting Floyd Mayweather. Fuck. Hey, can we stop that shit? Stop talking to De like come here, come here. Deji beat Fusi Tube in boxing, right? That's true. Now let's look at the statistical data. Let's look at the statistics. Let's look at the statistical data structure. Here we go. Deji beat Fusi Tube in boxing. Fusi Tube never fought until that day. That was his first time fighting in the ring. Probably fighting anybody ever in his fucking life. You see his fucking stance. It looked like somebody who only learned boxing for five minutes. Deji already had a fight under his belt. Whether Deji lost or not doesn't matter because he already knew how to fight. The other dude knew how to fight. They fucking got it in. Fuji Tube, that was his first fucking fight. Let's stop putting Deji up there like he really went in out there and put a far to hard battle. The only reason it looked like Deji was about to fight a fucking hard battle was because Fuji Tube is big as fuck. Fusi Tube went out there looking like Nappa from Dragon Ball Z. And Deji looks like fucking Deji. Ma Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z. Look, Deji beat Fusi Tube. But Fusi Tube didn't have any fights under his belt. Had none. And let's keep in mind, Deji lost to Alex Wasabi. Uh, 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 uh. Mm, I like Alex Wasabi. But he lost to Alex Wasabi. If Fusi Tube had the fucking fighting skill capability and he was training long enough, I bet you 1,000% Fusi would have put you in a tube. 
One thousand percent. We all know it looked like it looked like Deji was fighting above his weight class, but who knows? A lot of that fucking fat might have made up for a lot of fucking muscle that Fousey Tube had. But I digress. I mean, sure he's gonna get murdered, yeah. but <laughs> what a fucking arc! Like I have to be proud of the kid. Like, yeah. dude, you could say you fought Floyd Mayweather. Oh, for Floyd sure. finishes him, right? I would, I would say I haven't watched much of Deji. I don't. I'm not I don't I just I've seen him box a little bit and it just didn't look as it didn't I, I look as refined how, it didn't look as refined say it bro big as Deji and it just didn't look as it didn't look good I, I think Floyd puts because how puts big is Deji away. how much he weighs good question he's, he's uh how big is Deji that's easy <laughs> 600 pounds he's short he's probably saying he's probably same weight as Floyd no dog he's gonna get killed he might yeah. he'll probably get put away so, no he's Gonna get killed. Yeah, yeah. So I could see this going two ways. <laughs> One, he's gonna get killed. Yeah. And two, he's gonna get killed. Go ahead and say it, Logan, because you're so funny. I can predict your jokes, and if I'm wrong, I'll slap myself. If Floyd wanted to, and Floyd's fucking smart, bro. As much as we make fun of him, he's smart as hell. Yeah. If Floyd wanted to, he could let Deji go eight rounds. Well, looks like I got to slap myself because I was wrong. I thought I was predicting his jokes, but apparently I couldn't predict his jokes good enough. And in return, I must suffer for my consequences. Ow, that hurt. Because I don't think Floyd likes me, and if he lets Deji go eight rounds, it will sort of invalidate me going eight rounds with him. Does that make sense? That's yeah. a deep. That's that's thinking deep. But like, but like, we'll know. We'll know watching Floyd if, yeah. if we're like, all right, dude, like you're not yeah. swinging, you're not. But I, I'm excited to, to just one last thing. I'm excited to see how another YouTuber does against the greatest of all time, bro. The what you did against Floyd, obviously. Either he gets KO'd or he flatlines in the in the ring mid fight. Who you talking about, Deji? Uh, I think Deji. I don't. I don't know because if 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 Floyd Mayweather is fighting Deji, and he didn't want to fight KSI, I kind of wonder why. Did he want to beat KSI's brother? Oh wait, wait. Was it KSI? Uh, who was it? Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather got caught out by who was it? Floyd wasn't it KSI? Whoever he skipped past somebody and went straight to Deji, which is kind of weird. I think that it's something going on in the background, bro, for sure. Unless, because I would love to, because Floyd know he can't just go out there and knock Deji out, because then people wouldn't get their money's worth. They're going to do exactly what they expect. If they, if if Floyd Mayweather does exactly what we expect is going to happen, and he knocks Deji out really fast, that's going to disappoint everybody as much as we really want that to happen. So they're going to put on a show, three rounds, blah blah blah. You might see Deji get hit hard a little bit, stumble a little bit to where it looks like a knockout, so you can get some good highlights for memes and shit after the fight's over. But at the end of the day, I think that I I don't know if it's going to really be like that. I don't think so. And Deji's fat. Uh, Deji's. Re let me respect. De De Deji's. Deji's fat ass. Most likely won't be able to withstand eight rounds, and he's just going to get worn out. So you were quite a bit bigger, which, I mean, helped. hell yeah, it was everything, dog. Yeah. <laughs> that but was fantastic. I bet Floyd in the first round was like fuck dude because how athletic you came out and I, I bet your speed your size power everything i bet he was like what the dude, fuck to get hit myself into to hit when i was watching logan paul fight uh floyd mayweather it looked like logan paul wasn't really doing much but throwing his body at him someone that much bigger than you too it's gonna hurt your fucking yeah head, dude. if floyd could have knocked you out he would have knocked no, you dog, out dude that drove me I fucking crazy when people say that that he dropped or knocked you out and held you up i know and then people actually <laughs> took that and like kept making videos about it. I'm like all you guys are fucking so stupid He's stupid as hell it's the same people saying I got robbed that's what I'm saying so that nah bro Logan Paul got his shit rocked I don't know why Logan Paul keeps trying to cover up that Floyd Mayweather didn't knock him out hold him until he regained some consciousness and then they got back to it I sat there and saw that shit it wasn't out of context my nigga he dead ass held your ass up like you fainted out of nowhere so no matter how oh, hard you work fuck. bro always gonna be some guy 
who's trying to discredit your shit and power to you. Power to you. Because yeah. I get it. Get your dollar. Get your fucking content. Get your fucking content. Your Pick apart your shit. Come up with your theories. Fine, whatever. But like. He said, oh God, no, I swear, bro. You said Floyd Mayweather skipped Jake, Jake Paul. So he skipped Jake Paul and went straight to fighting Deji. Bro, hell no, bro. That's disrespectful. I want to beat your brother's ass. I want to show you what I'll do to your fucking brother because you were talking shit, KSI. And now you got to sit there and take that like the British mind you all. I can't do a British accent. Is, is that offensive? Oh, it, it's okay if it's offensive. I can do whatever I want. Like, that's ridiculous. And I, I'm optimistic that humans will get to a place where they can make rational decisions without being influenced by some fucking morons. Oh, God. I'm, I don't I'm, know about that. We'll see. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I think it's just more conversations about I like, think it's logical, independent... People unhealthy just people that eat like shit don't sleep uh, good abuse alcohol uh, abuse drugs and then they get to form these opinions and they're just fucking stupid and fat and <laughs> they're fat <laughs> never done anything really tough in their life who are who are these people they're out there dude they're dude, out they're there out, what are these they're these little gremlins they're probably at napa valley auto parts Yo, next yes, door bro they're <laughs> out there man they're fucking how happy out there. are you to be like pretty much done with youtube does it feel good to be done with youtube Dog. Credit to all the YouTubers, honestly, because it is so hard. It is so taxing on on. on it's difficult. Being a YouTuber is fucking difficult as fuck. I can I can attest to that. Your mental and fuck. physical health. I think everybody tries to do the easy route. I'm gonna make gaming videos because if I make gaming videos, that'll get me popular. But most of the time, they have a shitty personality, and there's they're not really they they have a shitty personality, and like they they they're either not good at the game or a shitty personality or good at the game and a shitty personality, so nobody cares to watch them play the game. You know what I mean? So I think people think gaming content is really the way to go, but I think that shit is way oversaturated. So I think reacting to videos and shit like that, as much as it's oversaturated, it's not bad. And my channel, my Twitch channel was not just about reacting to videos. In the future, I'll be doing real world streams where, I'm, where I have other streamers on my shit and we're doing stuff. But for now, this is what I'm doing. For now. Health. When it's if your primary. Credit to all the YouTubers, honestly, because it is so hard. It is so taxing on, on, on your mental and Fuck. physical health. When it's if, your primary yeah, income. Dude, it's, yeah, dude, you know how th this is so unrelatable, but like the creators will get it. When your life is boiled down and the value of you is boiled down to numbers and every time you produce the next video, you want to try to do better than the last oh, video. And, yeah. and, and you know, you, you constantly be, are making these videos and you go on your, your YouTube studio app and you see. Most people, without the, most people without a good setup resort to making funny skits, doing that for a bit. Then they stream or do whatever they really want. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. I started out making skits on, on YouTube. You guys wouldn't know this. I have a YouTube channel that has 1,200 subscribers. And I used I was making skits on the YouTube channel, but then I was like, I just stopped doing that, and then I was looking for something else. And then um, that's a long story, bro. Just know I'm right here right now, bro. Just know I'm right here. This is where I am right now. See this one performed ten out of ten, right? Your worst mm -hmm. video you put that affects you, dog. That fucks you up. And and and, and in trying to one up yourself, it can take you to a dark place. Yeah. It can it can you lead, lead you to a. Uh, uh, a pretty pretty nasty path and 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 then splicing all the negative comments and the the uh shithole tornado storm that is the internet and mm -hmm. you got you got yourself a uh a little cocktail for disaster there yeah. it's not easy being a creator so to answer your question it feels fucking Bro. great i can, i mean even those guys that stream like for six seven hours i streamed for two hours yesterday and i was doing some youtube stuff in between and after i'm like just have this anxiety so bad, dude. Yeah. It's like Streaming's you cannot hard. shut your mind off. Streaming's hard. Again, credit to the streamers. Fuck. Streaming is so hard. What anxiety are you getting, fat ass? Like, I really ask you that with all due respect, fat ass. Because every time I'm done streaming, I take off my fucking headphones and I don't have anxiety. I'm fine. I just get straight into the next step. Start slicing videos. Put it on YouTube. There's nothing to be anxious about. What are you anxious about, fat bitch? Hard, dog. The fact that you're live, the fact that- This you... nigga sitting here anxious about his next meal and shit. Like, come on, bro. You have to be on for two hours straight oh, yeah. and, and entertain, like, it, I, tried, I tried streaming. 
of the many things I've tried. I couldn't do it. It's too hard. It was too hard. Dude, streaming has been one of my favorite. Things. I've been streaming. For oh, you like it consistently for five years. Some people, some people, they. But but like I enjoy it. gaming. I fucking love playing Call of Duty. So but but do you do you have to do you, do you have to be on? Do you feel like you're performing? I read chat and I fucking play the harmonica. I'm fucking screaming. I'm I'm performing. And it's not for the money. You just do it because you I, like it. Dude, I enjoy fucking streaming. Wow, yeah. wow. That's but but it's fun because we like. We'll hey, play. I enjoy streaming too, bro. I think streaming is really fun. Uh, even if you have nobody to watch you on Twitch, streaming is still fun. Just trying to get a setup, building your setup, sharing your friends, so sharing what your setup look like looks like in comparison to your friends, and just sharing tips and stuff like that on how to grow on a fucking Twitch channel. All that shit is fucking fun, and every even like I think you you appreciate all the little things you get when you're a smaller Twitch channel like me right now. The fact that I even have four people or three people watching me or one person watching me or anything like that, anything better than anything more than zero is a fucking great to me bro and it's like something you gotta appreciate and it's something that i won't take for granted even just four people bro because right now it feels better to have a little bit of people instead of a lot of subscribers because i can individually actually talk to people and feel like i'm getting a little more personal personalization from here or like i got a good group of friends that i talk to online but when it's big and it's massive the more people are, it's just hard to talk to everybody at once so it's going to get out of control eventually and i know that for a fact Performing? I read chat and I fucking play the harmonica. I'm fucking screaming. I'm I'm performing. And it's not for the money. You just do it because you I, like it. Dude, I enjoy fucking streaming. Wow, yeah. wow. That's... But but it's fun because we like we'll play, put the headphones on. We got four of our buddies. For example, Vine and TikTok are good platforms for making skits, and a lot of creators started off there. Oh, my screen is on the right side. I'm reading chat on the right because I have another. I have a my screen. I have another monitor. Anyways, uh. Vine and TikTok are good platforms because you found you found me from TikTok, right? Because that's where I post a lot of my content as well. I think it is a great platform. And we're fucking yelling at each other for two hours, saying absurd shit, and then we, you know, it's. But dude, we don't, we do max two hours. Imagine the people yeah. who do six hours. The pros, say, six is <clears throat> fucking they do insane. Eight to 10, I can't right. imagine. When you Fuck. when you were coming up on YouTube and shit, was there some like to teach you the algorithm or give you ideas or like? Did you even know about it, or were you just straight up? I think I think there was nobody to really teach you about the algorithm back then. I know we we all had hints and theories and conspiracies, but the only thing that you got to do when it comes to making YouTube videos and listen to me, bro, the, and as a person who never made it, but I know what it is, you like the the only thing you can do is put your throw yourself inside of it, just get into it, just do it, and you'll learn by failing. By making shitty videos, by not liking your voice on camera, by not liking the content you put out, by cringing when other people watch your content. But once you get to a point to where you don't cringe when people watch your content, you feel comfortable talking on camera, you feel comfortable with your insecurities on camera, you're f comfortable making fun of your insecurities on camera, or making fun of yourself on camera, or you're not, you don't take everything to heart, I think you'll be fine. You know, it's all, it's all a growth process and you just got to throw yourself in it without being a little fucking bitch. Bloating. Uh, straight up uploading. So when I was when I was doing the YouTube grind, and by the way, I did f I think about 460 days in a row, which is absurd. 15 absurd. minutes of, of content every day, every day, never what? missed a day. Damn. Um, but the algorithm and the analytics weren't as advanced as they were now, and so we we didn't have the ability to track retention mm. like you do now, which is why in, in the most popular YouTube videos you see now, subtitles, quick ass fucking cuts, no yeah. time to breathe, no time to think, no time to process what you just saw. You're already onto the next thing, which is the era that we're living in. When you wash your body, do you use a moldy loofah? Oh, oh, whoa, nigga, that shit is brown. He wiped his ass with that shit. That's damn near nasty. My bad, guys. I'm looking at something on my computer real quick. Give me one second. One second. All right. Had to do something. And we're back. Economic design and no instant gratification, very short attention spans. What's the next uh, uh, um, dopamine hit oh. that I can get in, 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 in my body when I'm watching this piece of content? And what's fucking wild to me is, Doug, I vlogged for 460 days in a row, in a row and at the time, mid-rolls, 
did not exist. Oh, I heard ads, you talk about this. Ads <laughs> you can splice in the middle of your yeah. videos. Mid rolls didn't exist, so I could only put an ad at the beginning and at the end. And so I'd make you know on a, on a video that got seven million views, which was every day. Uh, I'd make m maybe between like five thousand and ten thousand dollars if mid rolls had existed when I was vlogging. I probably would have made. 25 mil off Google AdSense alone. Holy fuck. fuck. God damn. That's actually insane. Off like YouTube mid rolls now have it both easy. If you don't and know hard. what mid rolls are, mid rolls are like in the middle of you watching a video, an advertisement will pop up in the middle. You know, they didn't really have those back then at all. And uh, yeah, he definitely would have made a lot more money. Hard. Because you're able to track data in a way that is so beneficial to making sure you're getting the max viewership and retention and, and watch time, the analytics that matter and that will feed your content to the algorithm, the almighty algorithm, but at the same time, so oversaturated. Y'all yeah. know how hard it is Holy to break in. Every no, it's so YouTube oversaturated. Video, podcast, what they wanna do, bro. Vlog. Why would you not? It, look, it yeah. looks easy, you just film yourself, post it online. Exactly, that's what I tell people. It's not as easy as it looks, bro, filming yourself and putting it online and shit like that. That shit is not easy, bro. I'm watching the Lions game right now with 14 to 0 and they're winning. What the fuck? They're actually winning? Hell yeah, bro. Congratulations on the Lions. Let's hope that they pull through today. But then there's a fucking army of people who are going to hate you no oh, matter yeah. what. What team are you voting for right now? Like what team are uh, are you rooting for? Yeah. What you do? Oh, and yeah. you got to keep it up too. You can't just be a one-off YouTuber. You got to do this shit for for a while. Even the streamers, I feel for them. Yeah. How long are you going to be streaming for? Yeah. Your whole life? Yeah, oh, no shit. Then what? Then Dude. what? Well, we're so lucky. We get to come in and fucking train and get like a hard yeah. push and then go game and stuff. Those guys who don't get those hard pushes in between, it's like, holy fuck. No wonder they're probably anxious as fuck and depressed. No, bro. It's, it's bro, what, what do you mean? You just said that no wonder they're so anxious and depressed. Earlier in the, in the podcast, you said that whenever you stream and you take your headphones off, you're really anxious and you have anxiety. So even though you're sitting there and you have those things that you could do in between, you still have anxiety yourself. So what are you saying? I think you just kind of counteracted your point there, fat ass. I think you need to fix your statement, bitch. It's a tough life. It's a tough, I empathize for the, for the creators. Like bro, boxing to me is easier than being a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. you, get a, you get a fucking nice routine. You routine! Up, you go to the gym. Oh, it's so good. I'm rooting for the Lions at the moment. One, because I live in their city and two, they're the underdogs, and it's rare to see them win La Vance off. Yeah, I was doing sports betting and shit like that, and it would have been great to bet on the Lions right now. Good. Have your coffee. Yep, take yep. A nap. I like to bet on the underdog. Granted, they lose a lot, but if you do win, it's a great payday. Yep. You got training later. Dude, that routine. I feel like the reason I've been successful the last five to ten years or whatever is my routine. Mm. My routine and healthy habits. It's literally what's gotten me to where I'm at. It's the key word, brother fucking routine a regiment that you can just follow you have one goal you have one goal yeah. to beat this guy and you know the date you know the time it's all set in stone you don't have to run your mind through mental torment trying to figure out what the next thing is that you're gonna try to make to get someone's attention oh. being a youtuber is hard yeah. Fuck, are yeah. you uh you staying in puerto rico <clears throat> are you able to get a routine or are you so fucking all over the place i need i need puerto rico yeah I, I being on youtube is like mastering narcissism once you master narcissism you can definitely blow up on youtube i need it helps I need, and i've mastered narcissism youtube here i come you just kind of chill out a little yeah, that's, bit that's that's my space to lock in that's nice yeah it's uh that's that's my safe haven dude because when we're traveling that's when the work really amps up like if i'm traveling it's to work, yeah. solely to work. I, 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 I don't really do vacations. Vacations and home. If I do, yeah. I fucking work. So when I'm locked in in Puerto Rico, um, depending on if I'm training, you know, hang with the girl, uh, watch shows, maybe or... smoke, watch shows, uh, 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 train, vibe on the island, lay out. That's like, the best. Dog, it's, it's, not, awesome. it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Dude, but the smoke smoke, that's what I find is like, Anytime you're sitting there, you gotta chill a couple hours. You take one rip straight to the dome piece, and you're just going. Ah. Well, I didn't and smoke you, for. You've given it up completely. I had, I've had to. Yeah, I, I give it up when I go into into serious training for X Y Z. Like, I I don't know how it doesn't affect your lungs. No, I, I give it up too. I oh mean, what? Was, oh whoa! Yeah, I was out for. I didn't smoke. 
into he gave up serious smoking? training for X Y Z. Like I, I don't know how it doesn't affect your lungs. No, I, I give it up too. I oh mean, what? Was, oh I, whoa! Yeah, I was out for. I didn't smoke for probably three, closer to four weeks, Brian. That's not the Sean I know, dude. That's the inner, that's the yeah. I mean, that's I get dialed in. It helps me fucking reach another level. It has to. Like yeah. I, I don't care what people say, dog. When I stop smoking, my lung capacity increases. Yeah, and my brain. I just feel more clear. Yeah. I fucking love weed, dude. I'm dude, you know it's I'm fantastic. Smoke, I got back. Fucking, I've been smoking. But dude, when I'm locked in, and I need to be clear headed, cause I, I don't smoke. Yeah. yeah. No, it's sharp. When you're not smoking, you wake up with. So a he's saying he he temporarily cuts back on smoking, uh, just for the time being to get his shit done. That's that's not bad. It's whatever. That's that's cool. You know, a little bit just fucking clear. Right? A little tea break. Need to go a little bit more sparky. Yeah. Well, yeah. and when I'm dieting, dude, I have to. Every time I take a hit, I'm hungry. No matter fucking what. So when I'm dieting and I'm eating a for f- sure. When I'm eating, bro, like, I'll be hungry. This is how many fuck, ounces bro. I get. Of- every time I get high, I gotta eat a bowl of cereal or something, bro. I have to. Every time I take a hit, I'm hungry. No matter fucking what. So when I'm dieting and I'm eating a for f- sure, and I'm eating like this, is how many ounces I get of this, is how many calories I get for me smoking and then just fighting that urge to want to, sn- it just it's like a no, battle. No, it's it's, it's tough. Not worth it. What what do you walk around at? One fifty eight was when I started this fight camp. Yikes! And you weighing it at one thirty five? Yeah, and I'm I'm probably 36. I bet one thirty six. I bet Aljo one thirty six. That extra pound like that makes a huge difference, dude. Come on, bro. This nigga's still a toothpick. Walks around. 163, 164. Yikes. That motherfucker is big. I bet Peter walks around, if I had to guess, 153, 154. Um, so there's guys bigger, there's guys smaller. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm a good size bantamweight. Um, he said, I feel like he's 153 or 154. It's like, that's a one number difference. It's like, you might as well just say 153 or 154. It doesn't make a big difference. Does it? Maybe it does make a big difference. I could definitely move up to featherweight if I wanted to. After. Double champ, dude. The double champ thing is fucking. Yo, very yo, yo, yo. When you become champ of the world, I'm, oh, God, I'm gonna, gonna lose crazy. my fucking <laughs> mind. Oh, I'll God. put a hundred racks on you for that fight. I don't care, dog. I'm going. It's I'm, gonna be nuts. I'm going down with you or up with you. I don't give a fuck, Sean. I love you. <laughs> Let's get it. Dude, double champs. It, it's it's inevitable, especially because I have the build for 145, and uh, in five, dude. I'm 28. I just turned 28. Like so young. So young. So much. So I bet much my room prime, to improve. 32, 33. For sure. Especially with how I eat, how I sleep, how I take care of myself. I'm going to be... Dog, as long as you... As long as you, I think, pick strategic fights. Like, I... That's why the last one, I was like, what the fuck is going on here? You just chose the hardest motherfucker that you possibly could? And so, like, uh, is it really just top five fighters from now on? It's got to be, dude. It doesn't make sense. I go and fight anyone other than for the belt. I mean, the Cheeto rematch is fucking massive. Yep. But I'm at a point now. They don't. UFC doesn't really do pay-per-view points for people that aren't champs. Like they just don't do that. But I'm getting to a point to where I think I can sit down with UFC and, and get get what I want because they see it, dude. Every time I'm on a pay-per-view card, they're like, "This is the biggest one of the year." It's like that's because I'm every on them. I'm on all of them. But yeah. so I want I want these big fights. I want these massive fights. But I also want to get paid. You know, just fairly. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for yo. I want. 10 million. I just want to be paid fair. And so far, you know, we have a great relationship with UFC, and we're going to get it done. We have a great relationship with UFC. We're going to get it done. And if they don't do what I want, we're no longer going to have a great relationship anymore. You see them uh, talking about Aljo and Suhudo for February? Yeah, I, I saw that. That's interesting. Uh, I'm going to sit down with UFC here in a couple weeks, and I'm going to, you know. What do you see. think wins that? Aljo versus Suhudo. How how can Suhudo take this much time off and think he's anywhere near? That's exactly what I was saying. What yeah. I I just don't see. I mean, he's fantastic as a mm-hmm. as a fighter, but I just don't think you can take that much time off and, and, and face an active fighter and be where you were at, you know, even if you think you are. I feel like if anyone can do it, it is like it is Henry. As much as I think he's a fucking giant dildo, mm-hmm. he's fucking good. He's, yeah. He's, he's, you he'll, heard he'll, he'll be at the, he'll be at the fight, man. He'll be at the fight. And no one will care. No, talking to shit. He'll, he'll, he'll be talking to he'll shit. He'll be in the fight, probably in the stands. No one asking for pictures because no one gives a fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. They talking shit. No one's going to be asking for pictures. Just going to be chilling. It sounds like you trying to get in the ring with my boy. Uh, <laughs> you hear Mighty Mouse on Rogan talking about how Cejudo, like, if he's not trained for a fight camp, he doesn't train hard. He doesn't spar. 
he just kind of goes through the motions. That's why I think you're right. Because how many years has it been since he's fought? A five round fight, elite. He's chilling. Hard. I'm yeah. like, he's chilling. Oh, no. But he got that bug. He got the, yeah. the bug Chill that a lot bug. of fighters get. They're just like, oh, I got, I could do something. I, I left the best. I'm still the best. But dude, the thing about Henry is like he didn't make a, he <clears throat> didn't make a lot of money. He's not. That's right because he's, he he's just not a, he's not a draw. Like, it, like that's why I'm saying he's if he's coming back, it's because he needs the narrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, respect, mm-hmm. respect, dude. So how nice is it having a fucking solid girlfriend? Holy shit! Isn't it nice? <laughs> I've, I've never had such a thing. Uh, Fuck, it's in, nice in my life. What a game changer! I didn't know a, a human could be that incredible. I really didn't. Like she, she has, she has shifted my entire perspective on what a partner could be to me. She shifted my opinion on what a partner could be to me, and I cheated on her. You cheated on her, Logan. Let her know, bro. Tell her. No offense to to the women that are listening, but I I chalked I chalked women up to the fucking game, dog. I gave up on on them and myself in terms of me finding a partner. I, I really did. And then met this girl, and holy shit! In the most cliche way I can say it. Yeah, I was about to say, that sounds cliche as fuck. I gave up on women, and then I found this girl, and here I am. Cliche, bro, but it, whatever, you say. Oh, you know. Dude, that's true. Oh, my God. So awesome. you met her at when you gave up, when you finally said, all right, I'm, gonna, I'm, not done, I'm done looking, and then it came. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, it was, I, I, had, I had been done looking for a while, right? Like, it, mm. and even dating was hard. But still slaying. Travel schedule. You're still slaying. I, I was I don't I wasn't really slaying, bro. No? I like you know there were some there was a couple slays. Yeah. But I wasn't really slaying, dude. And 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 not, not there was a no couple p- slays, but I wasn't really slaying, dude. It sounds like he said slaves. I had a couple slaves. Way of like. A- so I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I made forty nine thousand dollars in the last thirty days copying and. Pay- I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I made fifty thousand dollars sitting in my car homeless. Of of hooking up with random girls it was like i was you know m- making an effort to find Pursue someone like I, I i was bro i had my fuck boy stage i'm done i'm good mm-hmm. like whatever i get it uh, i'm 27 bro i want to talk to someone who gives me energy and doesn't take yeah i can't even imagine having to sit down on a date and speak with a person who doesn't compel or captivate oh, me it sounds like miserable it's exhausting man dating is exhausting like kudos to everyone out there just slinging it on Tinder, going on a date after date after date, trying to find your match. Like yikes! That, that's terrible. I'm so I'm so I'm yeah, so blessed. Yeah, that's a fucking. I'd rather just have a bitch that I can fuck consistently, who's not going to give me any fucking trouble, and then I can work on my fucking career and we can have a great life. Blah blah blah. I don't want to have to go on a bunch of dates with a bunch of women. It just wastes time and money. I'm so blessed for a lot of things in my life, but like I think finding her is the one. But thing I'm that I- here for the Andrew Tate comment. I want to see him talk shit about Andrew Tate. Where is that at? Can't comprehend why I got that blessed. Yeah, it's fucking badass. So she helps you level up. Um, she the- is she. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Mom's FaceTiming. It's especially hard at your level, like finding a yeah. girl who's like big, badass. So she helps you level up. I'm gonna be fucking putting in overtime editing these clips today. It's especially hard at your level, like finding a yeah. girl who's like big on social media. Or how did like did it just organically come about meeting her? So the answer is yeah, yeah, the yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> but 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 I hear what you're saying. I, I'm in a, I am in an odd position where I'm really fucking unrelatable. Yeah. <laughs> in in general, like yeah. like how do I explain to people what's happening in my life? Yeah. And yeah. Um, especially especially like uh, no offense, a, a woman like who who can understand the bullshit that is coming out of my mouth when I try to who can understand the fucking bullshit who can understand the bullshit that is coming out of my mouth when I try to the bullshit who can understand the 
bullshit that is coming out of my mouth when I try to explain to her that my brother's fighting one of the greatest combat sports fighters of all time, that we came from this YouTube background. I made shit content online for this year, and this is what I've done, and this is what I've done, and this is what I've done. And it, it, it's it's hard, but she, she comes from a world where she's dated some big names in the past. She understands what it means to be a good partner and be that equal in the relationship and is not foreign to a lifestyle that is wealthy Orthodox. extremely I heard, which is nice i heard you say too uh extremely why not just say extreme extremely and i fucking this is the same for me when you're fucking just working so hard and training you're just not super horny when i'm dialed in those last couple weeks of fight camp dude i'm like the last thing i'm thinking about is sex which is opposite when i'm out of camp i'm just like a oh, fucking horny but when i'm dialed i don't know if it's because i don't have any energy i'm just all my focus is on a fight but uh, where did I, I heard you say that, right? I'm you said so, that? I'm so glad you said this. It's crazy. You're gonna save me, bro. You're gonna say, I, I, I'm not in trouble. She hasn't mentioned it to me, but bro, I've been I've been slacking because what you said. I'm bro. tired as fuck, bro. I'm yeah. tired. And, oh, he and, said Logan Paul is saying that he's slacking during sex because he's too tired after fighting and shit. And that now that this dude said that, he gave Logan Paul an excuse to run with. Now that see, listen to him. We're going through the same thing. I be tired. He's tired, so we can't fuck because we're too tired. Thank you. I'm glad you said it because now I have an excuse to give my girlfriend so I can lie to her when I'm really cheating on her. So when Logan Paul comes back home and he's too tired to fuck because he's been cheating on her, he has an excuse and just be like, oh, I was too tired because I was training for fighting. Shut the fuck up, bro. It sounds like a ploy. I think Logan Paul cheated on his girl. It sounds like he's beating around a bush. I would not be surprised. And I, and I, I want to perform and throw down for my girl. And, and we had we had a couple months there where you were throwing down. I mean, I mean in the most like bunny rabbit uh, of menace type, you could, it, it was gnarly. It was gnarly. And then all of a sudden, start training a little bit, start getting a little more tired, and like, nah, I'm just a fucking puss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it's yeah. hard. Why is that? Well, dude, I think there's. Two things you probably went, you know, everyone. Every, every time you're in a fresh relationship, that happens. You yeah, every yeah. time you're in a fresh relationship, you fuck constantly, and once all that shit is over, bro, you just like, uh, can you make me a sandwich? Y'all kind of don't really be fucking with each other that much. That true. Like a motherfucker. Yeah, true. And then, but the training is a real thing. I go through it every fight camp where I'm just like so exhausted, I'm not thinking about it. But also, dude, I think humans just like we're in an open relationship. If I go and hook up with another chick dude i makes me it makes me so much more horny to go hook up with danny again and it i don't know if it's just our psychology or what it is but dude that sounds like a lie bro sounds like a fucking lie when i go fuck another girl it makes me even hornier to go fuck my own girl why don't you just fuck her from the start then that sounds like complete and utter bullshit fucking bullshit it sounds like fucking bullshit to me bro Thing. And it's true. It's like Danny knows it. Like it's a, it's a real thing. Tim experiences it. You go hook up with some chick. Like the next day, dude, you're want. To, it, it's something about that fresh, interesting new puss. And <laughs> <laughs> well, and well, that and your best friend, your girl, your partner. She's supporting that. She knows yeah. that. You got. That's wild. But, Sean, but you have to have such a solid relationship before that can go on. No, yeah. for sure. Like, his friend is a good ass sidekick, bro, because he'll jump in. And just in case his girl's listening, you don't want you don't want your girl to listen and just hear, yeah, that's some nice ass, fresh ass pussy. So he's doing the damage control. You guys have to have a solid relationship in order for your girl to even be able to stand that. So his girl can be like, well, yeah, we have such a solid relationship. Let me keep being a dumbass and letting my guy fuck other women while I'm sitting here and being a dumbass. And I don't get to fuck any niggas. Now, if she get to fuck niggas, bro, and you no. Open relationship for men these days means I get to fuck women, you get to fuck nobody, nobody at all, unless it's other women, and I'm involved with them. That's not a real open relationship. If your girl can get fucked in her pussy, and because you, you can fuck other girls, or your girlfriend can get fucked in her pussy, like some Adam 22 who fucking leaned it a plug bullshit, or whatever the fuck's going on, where, where you can fuck, a, where he can fuck a motherfucking girls, but you can't fuck anybody, bro, fuck all that shit. I mean, you can fuck the girls with me. No, bitch, what the fuck? How come you get to fuck the opposite gender and I don't get the opposite gender, you dumbass bitch? Let me get the opposite gender. Like, so solid Because how long so have you been with Mariah? Almost if I was women, I wouldn't stand for this man misogynistic two-faced bullshit. If I was a woman, I would be like, hold on, bro. 
I'm not doing no open relationship shit. The only way I would stand for that as a woman is if I'm using this dude temporarily until I can get my life together enough and have enough finances in the background that I've st stored from the money he's given me and dip on his dumb ass. That's what I would do if I was a woman. It's 13 years. And I've been with Danny for seven seven years, so it's like been a long time that we built a, we built this relationship to where it's not like she's not worried I'm gonna go hook up with a girl and then fall in love with her and leave her. Like yeah. She's not worried about that. Yeah. We have a new rule. If I hook up with a chick, I just have to buy her like a Gucci bag. It's a new. It's oh, she's <laughs> winning. Yeah. Oh so my god, like, smart, <laughs> Danny. Way to, way to fucking go. It was my idea. Yeah. Oh damn. Dumb idea. Damn, bro. Yeah. It's like nah. Dude, so you're the you're literally damn near the same size as Andrew Tate. Yeah, you get yeah. You guys could fucking rumble. I don't think we. He brought that up strategically on purpose, bro. You guys are like the damn near the same size as Andrew Tate, bro. Shut up, bro. Size is Andrew. He's Tate. slick. Yeah, you get yeah. You guys could fucking rumble. I don't think we could. Really, I don't think he'll do it. This 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 Tate thing. So you'll do it, Logan, but he won't. You're saying Andrew Tate won't do it, but you will a lot do you, like if you want to unpack it bro i'll unpack it with you but there, there's a lot of bullshit he is the most brilliant fraud we've seen in a very long time and if 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 you want to dive in i wouldn't deny that but i'm open to interpretation let's hear it let's hear it i like andrew tate but let's see let's see what he's saying and you've seen in a very long time and if 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 you want to dive in Let's fucking go. But but because I haven't spoken about him since uh, I think I think a, uh, we had a podcast in London where I and we, we clickbaited him the whole nine uh, culture whore, you know, as we as we do trying to get the most clicks as possible. And um, I haven't spoken about him since, but he's spoken about me since. Mm -hmm. And weren't you guys just with him? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's he, go. He's trying Talk to about that. fight you any rule set. OK. If you guys didn't see Andrew Tate and what he said about uh, Logan Paul, you guys, if you're watching this after the stream, because I'm going to cut this while I'm editing, you guys can actually watch it on my YouTube channel. I sliced it up into different uh, clips if you guys don't want to watch the full stream. But you guys can watch the Andrew Tate Sean O'Malley as well. <laughs> yeah, bro. But right. he didn't answer the street fight one. He said oh street fight, I'm not going to answer. Oh, my fucking God. But kickboxing, he says 100%. <clears throat> Boxing he says you would do. Bro, you guys are the same size. The most brilliant fraud we've ever seen. He's so good at articulating and he's smart and cunning as fuck. And so many people have bought into the scheme and are regurgitating the Andrew Tate theologies that they're coming. It's it's ridiculous. Um Yeah, I I think Okay, so we here here's where we made a mistake at first. I'm gonna talk for a bit here, yeah, yeah. if you don't mind. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, talk your shit. Mike and I, primarily Mike, but by default because I'm in Mike's content, made a made a, a lot of content around Andrew Tate upon the time Andrew Tate was popping off. Again, culture horse, bro. That's what we everyone. do. Yeah. It's, it's it, was, it was hilarious to us. This guy was saying ridiculous shit, like absolutely ridiculous shit that we found amusing. We found it entertaining. Like I I I I find him entertaining. And, 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 and captivating when he talks, like, I, I, I'm either... No, Logan Paul is stuttering so fucking much, bro. It's, I, 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 I really... Like, shut the fuck up, dude. What You're stuttering so much. I think that Logan Paul, if he is willing to fight Andrew Tate, just in case he loses... He, he has to say a bunch of positive stuff about Andrew Tate. So when he get his ass beat, people don't take the, the reels at the end and then show him talking shit and then getting his face smashed in. Listening to him say something that makes actually no fucking sense in real life or is a statement so bold that it is repulsive. And um, Mike took advantage of that. He made a lot of uh, Tate jokes. And I think people misunderstood what to us was very clearly satire and sarcasm as like a as like a, a respect or liking to, to Tate. Bro, I've never liked Tate. I, 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 again, I find him amusing the same way you find a clown amusing. But when we saw the rollout of his misogyny and like- act I don't like Logan, but I, I find your clown ass to be amusing. Logan, you have to fucking understand. If anything, if you really see him that way, you are also in that same position, which is the reason why many of us still see you as a clown to this day. Now, I'm not saying I don't fuck with you. I, I'm just in a neutral zone about the way I feel about you. 
I just remember you from your clown days. That's all I'm saying. So I still kind of see you as a clown, you know, who I don't particularly care for. Actually fucked up points of view come out. I started to realize, like, I don't, I don't fuck with this guy. And you could see me turn at a point in the content because uh, humans are like layers. The more you find out about them, for most people, the less you're going to like them. And for Tate, a lot of the stuff he says is incredibly compelling and motivating for young men. And there's some in there that I think set us back as a society, especially when it comes to uh, how men respect and should treat women or how men should respect and, and treat money. Like, dog, no, no cool person that I know, no top G talks about money or women the way Andrew Tate does. Like, like if you're actually cool, if you're actually tuned in like, uh, and comfortable with yourself and have the money and have the women, like, it's just not fucking cool. He reminds me of a, a, a daily YouTube vlogger circa 2017 when he just bought his first Lambo. Like, bro, no one gives a f Andrew Tate is the Ty Lopez of our century today. I just got a Bugatti sitting in my garage. Fuck about your shit. It's not, that's not, that doesn't make you cool. But a bunch of kids think it does. And so they're buying into his shit because he has a Bugatti. And he I want to say kids. kids because I post Andrew Tate's content on my YouTube channel every now and then. And uh, from the demographics, it seems that a lot of adults are watching the Andrew Tate content. I don't really have any teenagers watching my shit for real, for, real, for the most part. Gilate thoughts well. But some are so outlandish. So anyways, we made the mistake of confusing people into thinking that we gave a shit about this guy. <clears throat> he gets deplatformed. We cleared the air on a podcast, and we we're basically like, yo, like, I, we, like, I, I, I think he sets us backwards, and like, I don't support him, whatever, he's gone, fuck him. Everyone's like, yo, you fucking used to like him, now all of a sudden you flipped the switch, blah, blah, blah. And by the way, Logan, you're a hypocrite too, because you got canceled. This was the big, the big narrative that I, I actually want to take this opportunity to correct. Yeah, bro, because I just said the same thing. You used to do the same shit. You used to be a fucking clown. Now clear the air, bitch. We're spoken on it. I never will again, but I'll do it now here on your podcast. Let's get some clicks. Let's get some views. Let's get Thanks, this sir. retention up. Keep watching. <laughs> Here's, here comes the juice. Keep watching. Let's get this retention up. You heard him. If you click off right now, you're a fucking bitch. Take this opportunity to correct because I've never spoken on it. I never will again, but I'll do it now here on your podcast. Let's get some clicks. Let's get some views. Let's get Thanks, this sir. retention up. Keep watching. <laughs> Here's, here comes the juice. The juice is so coming. Everyone's like, you're such a hypocrite, you know, you condemned Andrew Tate, but when you got canceled, you know, you had an opportunity to get a second chance. Yo, you dumb motherfuckers. I earned that, and it was fucking hard, and I had to do a personal, personal pivot and evolve in my private life before I could even face the public again in a way where I said, please give me a chance to earn the chance for forgiveness. So why can't Andrew Tate do that then? What What is your point? Why can't Andrew Tate do that? Because he's getting canceled right now. Why, why can't he just sit away far away in his hyperbolic time chamber and then come, about, come out when he grows some hair and then be like, hey, can you guys forgive me? I'm sure we'll all be open to that. I did that. I <coughs> went through. I mean, have you noticed Nico came back? I'm pretty sure Nico came back. I just saw his YouTube channel, bro. We're going to get on that later, though. The molting of my old skin so I could be someone that was acceptable to myself and 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 no one no one no one just fucking golden plattered me like an opportunity to redeem myself i fucking worked my ass off and so when when there's any comparison there about like if i have an allegiance to someone who got canceled suck my dick there's no comparison does he deserve a second chance absolutely i think everyone does if they make a mistake or or get deplatformed or whatever but like just because I got canceled does not mean I have to support this dude who got canceled because I don't. I don't like the shit he says. Some of it I think is, 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 is amusing and uh, some of it I think has, has a lot of merit and can influence young men positively. But you can't forget the, 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 the one in five statements that I think just set us back and are, and are influencing young men, young men in a way where there was gonna be a ripple effect of how they treat women. Like, we, we, we're seeing it with Kanye right now. Kanye says a certain, a certain thing, an extremely influ influential person says a certain thing. Next thing you know, fucking people are hanging banners off the 405 saying Kanye was right, right about the Jews. This shit does oh, have man. a ripple effect. Kanye, as you happen to see in real time, because he has a mature audience, 
Tate has fucking 12 year olds who think validation comes from you having a Bugatti and, and being rude and disrespectful to female because he thinks they should have their body count strapped to- Was it Logan Paul or Jake Paul who had that fucking party in that neighborhood? So huge that it was all over the news. Because fuck being disrespectful to women when you're disrespectful to men, women, and a whole entire neighborhood, bro. It was a while back, but please shut the fuck up. Let everybody have their fun. Let him talk his shit, bro. If he's getting canceled, like they say, it's him today, somebody else tomorrow. And unfortunately, Top G is every day, bitch. So stay the fuck away from my Top G, my nigga, my boy. Logan Paul, I fuck with you, my boy. Uh, Jake Paul, I fuck with you, my boy. Andrew Tate, I fuck with you, too. Now y'all get in the ring and start fighting. Now y'all get in the ring and start putting y'all's boxing gloves all over each other's face. To their forehead. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, okay, then, then men should have the size of their cock strapped to their forehead. Fuck, you know what sucks. I say? Like, how many men, how many men are going to lose opportunities? Because, like, this, these, these out-of-the-world analogies that are amusing, but fucking... Outlandish. Revert what we're trying to do as a society progress. Anyways... I have no allegiance to people who got canceled. I'm You're saying Andrew Tate's words and ideologies are nothing but a digression to society's standards and society's beliefs and traditions? Um, okay, that is interesting. I don't disagree and I don't agree at the same time. I'll leave that up to you guys in the comments. Do you, do, do you agree that Andrew Tate's, Andrew Tate's speech is nothing but a digression towards humanity? I don't give a fuck. And I said what I said on that podcast and I'll say it again now. However... I also said on that podcast that I'm not sure I wanted to fight him because I didn't want to platform him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if I wanted to support oh, someone. Oh, Logan Paul said he doesn't want to platform Andrew, uh, Andrew Tate. He doesn't want to fight him because he doesn't want to give him clout. He doesn't want to give him a, a platform. Basically, he's saying he don't want to give him clout. Fundamentally, I disagree with. And by the way, I'm saying a bunch of shit here. You can disagree with me, and I can disagree with you, and we can still be respectful and uh, go on to the next piece of content conversation whatever that's how life works agree to disagree or change your perspective i disagreed with what he said i said what i said i didn't feel like platforming him but then this motherfucker starts talking a lot of shit and, I, and that dog in me comes Ooh. out i'm like god damn maybe well, damn maybe, maybe i maybe i maybe i would take the opportunity to platform him yeah let's night. go i want to see that logan paul fight I want to see Logan Paul get in the ring with Andrew Tate. He's like, bro, I've been sitting there from afar watching Andrew Tate's ball-headed ass talk about me. I'm trying to get in the ring. I want to see this fight, bro. I will pay and watch this shit. If, I, if, that, if that fucking Logan Paul and Andrew Tate fight is pay-per-view, which it most likely will be, I'll pay for it and stream it for you guys live, bro. Or I can't do that. I can't do that. Uh, Rumble. I might stream it on Rumble. How about that? And I, and that dog in me comes ooh, out. I'm like, God ooh, damn. Ooh. Maybe, well, damn maybe, maybe, I, maybe, I, maybe I would take the opportunity to platform him just for one night. Just for one night. And turn his fucking face inside out. Ooh. Have him wheeled home on a gurney with his brother holding his hand in the ambulance type shit. He said he's going to beat his ass that bad. It's on some Conor McGregor fucking Floyd Mayweather type shit, bro. One night. It's on some Conor McGregor Khabib type shit, bro. And turn his fucking face inside out. Have him wheeled home on a gurney with his brother holding his hand. Oh, to he's gonna him just have his face turned out. Rearranged and mixed it to a 360. He's gonna have him land on a damn gurney with his body. And his soul suffocating and moving on to a new journey. He's talking like a fucking WWE wrestler or something. Does that sound familiar to you? Logan Paul, you're not scaring anyone. Andrew Tate, put your hands on this fucking man, bro. Hey, Logan Paul, put your hands on that fucking man, too. I just want to see y'all get in the ring. Stop all that talking and start setting up the fucking event. Set up the fucking event. It's that simple for one night just for one night and turn his fucking face inside out have him wheeled home on a gurney with his brother holding his hand in the ambulance type shit the thought of that is kind of compelling oh it's a massive I, fight 
I like the idea of fucking up Andrew Tate, so maybe I would platform him. Bro, this nigga's trying to base up Jeffrey Dahmer, serial killer. I like the idea. Oh. Andrew Tate. Oh my God, I'm so scared. And I actually maybe oh, maybe Andrew Tate would kept calling Logan out out because he didn't think Logan would actually accept the fight because he he thought he knew the risks. But now that Logan Paul is actually saying he would take the fight, and Andrew Tate said he wouldn't take the fight. They got a fight. The fight is coming. The fight is coming. This is the fight we've all been waiting for. The fight we didn't even know that we wanted. It's coming. It's brewing. I can feel it, bro. The fight is brewing, bro. This is the fight we all been waiting for. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. I would fight. I would fight Andrew Tate. I'll take back what I said. And I'm mad enough to say I, uh, I made a mistake when I, when, I, when I said I wouldn't platform him. I would do it. And so... Again, he'd been talking shit you online. You would platform him just to de-platform him if he gets his ass beat. Smart. And he said in some, some I see the Bro, little Bro, I, I am so iffy on this because I'm neutral about Andrew Tate, neutral about Logan Paul. and I But I really want Andrew Tate to win. I want Andrew Tate to win because I just, he's top G. I, I want him to really show us that he's really top G and he still got it. And he's challenged, Logan Paul's challenging him, him in MMA in his own fighting style, bro. So let's hope he got this. His fighting style is hit and run. He doesn't have any training with wrestling or anything like that. That's why Logan Paul is doing MMA because he really wants to fucking crush this dude. It's here and there. He, he really wants to put his fucking hands on him and lay him out, put him on a platform, literally. Again, he'd been talking shit online. He said in some, some I see the little clips here and there that he would fight me for free. I got excited. I'm training. I'm ready to go. I texted his agent. I said, dog, what's up with your boy? He said he fight for free. That sounds like a money day for me. Can we make this happen? <laughs> Call him up. Called him up. Turns out he don't want to fight for free. Turns out he wants two warm-up fights. And if But you got to think, he said he would fight for free how long ago? What point in time was that? Fact. This was the response I got back from his rep. I want a bag now. After after pushing him time and time again, yo, you talked to Tate yet? Like, I'll take the free fight, whatever. Like, can I fight the guy? And by the Damn, way, so you're pushing for it. Yeah, dog, this would be fantastic. Are you kidding me? Be big. He wants two warm up fights. We knew that, but like, okay, maybe we can forego those and do this fight. This was the response I got back. Yo, he said you want to fight him, then WhatsApp him directly. Huh? <laughs> Talk. Dummy, I'm trying to fight you, not fucking become your buddy. <laughs> I don't know. Nigga, he's saying talk to him directly, bro. Talk to Andrew Tate directly, bro. Don't talk to his rep. Huh? <laughs> Dummy, I'm trying to fight you, not fucking become your buddy. <laughs> I don't know what inside shit. Brilliant fraud. I'll say it again. I don't know what inside shit, buddy, buddy, behind the scenes thing you think this is. I don't like you. I don't like you. I want to fuck you up. I want to fuck you up your butt, Andrew Tate. Yeah, buddy, buddy, behind the scenes thing you think this is. I don't like you. I don't like you. I want to fuck you. And we're just going to leave it like that. Let's move on. And then he comes out saying I'm doing steroids. <laughs> Bro, we see, we, 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 by the way, every time I go to training camp, I get accused of doing steroids. Well, of course, you're fucking, you're fucking jacked, yeah. I have a, I, I, without sounding too pompous, a fucking crazy genetic physique where I, I can train really hard and get really ripped really fast. But bro, steroids? How the fuck did you think I passed every drug test I've ever done for the fights that I've had? What are you talking about? That's, it's, it's a, it's a cop out yeah, historically for people who are uh, threatened by me. Well. So like. I see this. I see him saying he wants to fight. I'm offering him the fight, and he's not taking it. I mean, I it. didn't think Logan Paul was on steroids. I'm just saying Andrew Tate said Logan Paul was on steroids. Cop out historically for people who are threatened by me. So, like, I see this. I see him saying he wants to fight. I'm offering him the fight, and he's not taking it. Fuck. And, 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 and I even have an idea. Bro. So Logan Paul is saying he reached out to Andrew Tate to fight and Andrew Tate is backing down and he doesn't want any of it. That is fucking, I hope that's not true, bro. Free Andrew Tate, bro. Freedom of speech, bro. Fuck censorship, bro. I'm, I'm with you, bro. Fuck censorship. Free Andrew Tate. Bring my boy back. Bring Sneeko back. And it's funny. Sneeko did come back. Sneeko was back. At least we got Sneeko. 
but free Andrew Tate. We need Andrew Tate back on the platform. How the fuck did Logan Paul and Jake Paul not get fucking banned, but Andrew Tate got banned before these niggas ever did? How the fuck did Logan and Jake Paul get so many chances, but Andrew Tate got like one fucking chance, bro? Bring this nigga back. He's banned forever. That's fucking crazy. Because he obviously doesn't want to box. And I, and I actually understand that, sort of. It's a bit odd to me that a, <laughs> a four-time world champ kickboxer is afraid of a YouTuber with no wins. Like, that's what, like, that's what we're talking about here, bro. What are we saying? I got no wins. I'm a YouTuber. And he still wants warm-up fights. Wait, what? I got no wins. I'm a YouTuber. And he still wants warm-up fights. Pin that. He just said he wasn't a YouTuber anymore. He doesn't do YouTube. Now he's a YouTuber. So I got a solution. You said bring them all back, back. Free Andrew Tate, free Tristan Tate, free Andrew Tate, free Tristan Tate, free uh, who else? Uh, Sneeko, free fucking what's his name? Uh, Alex Jones. Why don't we do something that both of us have never done? Clean record. O and O. O and O. Okay. Let us step into the fucking octagon, brother. An MMA fight, me versus Tate. Let's go. In the UFC. Tate, oh. that is fresh because you can take out uh, Logan's boxing career, bro. And it will just be UFC stats. That makes a lot of sense. Like you said, Tate's In smart. the UFC. He knows you know how to wrestle. Bro, he knows how to kick. I can't throw a kick for my life. I feel like Tate's... Can't throw a kick from my life. What are you talking about? He has two of the three skill sets. I have two of the three skill sets. Fair He's point. a world champion kickboxer. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber with no wins, bro. What are you fucking running from? Fair, fair Dude, point. this is what they need to do. They need to do three rounds. First round, kickboxing. Second round, boxing. Third round, MMA. Or you guys figure out what. Bro, how hard is it to like scrape up a couple dollars for this dude to fight, bro? Get that bag together. Is Andrew Tate sexist? Um... I don't think Andrew Tate is sexist. I do think that he has a lot of extreme ideologies when it comes to women. Um, sexist, though, I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know enough about the guy to really say he's sexist. I've just seen a bunch of clips on YouTube, and I don't think it's enough to really, you know, give me enough about the dude right now, to be honest. I make my, my jokes here and there, but I don't really know. Do I speak Russian? Uh, of course. <laughs> of course I speak Russian. I mean, look at me. I speak Russian. That FC would do that shit. They would. One FC the, would do that pick shit. Pick the rounds, and each round's a different art. It, it, would be a, uh, it would be an advantage to the person who gets their skill set first, first yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? Yep. If, if it's kickboxing, it's going to be hard for me, bro. I, I cannot throw a kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would make it I don't know how to fucking throw a kick, right? But like, damn, you think Dana would put that on? I know Dana likes Tate. Dana likes it's money. Dog, dog, dog. That dog. Says, you said, do I like Putin? Um, I don't really pay attention to anything that, that Vladimir Putin does. I just, I, I, don't, I don't really pay attention to that type of stuff. At least not right now. Me versus Tate in the octagon? You don't think Tate would, would that, take that? That would do two million pay-per-views. Because, I'm, I've, because, oh, because yeah. I'm, 100%. I'm giving him options. What's up, dude? Like, what's to the TikTok Tate fanboy schoolboys, your top G isn't as top as you think. He don't want what he says. Ooh, which I find he's saying your top, your top G is not as top as you think. He's not a top. You're calling him a submissive. You're saying you're going to get him to submit. What's up, dude? Like, what's to the TikTok Tate fanboy schoolboys? Your top G isn't as top as you think. He Woo! don't want what he says. It I find odd for a person who has so much conviction in what he says and stands by that. Right? He's willing to take accountability for the things that come out of his mouth. But Goodbye like, dog, and good morning. Those, hey, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate the conversation. Those people who are reverting to saying I'm on steroids. To saying you need two warm-up fights privately, but publicly saying you're going to fight? Shut the fuck up. Brilliant fraud. And people are buying into it. Thank God most aren't, because he doesn't have the platforms, and he's <laughs> fucking on Rumble. Like, but but Dana's, on, Dana's on Rumble. Dana gets the noise. And I think that uh, because of his affinity for money, it's possible. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I call him right now and ask him.
But you don't think Tate, Tate would take that, huh? I don't think Em, man. I think what the if fuck, I, bro? I, I, I think if anything, <laughs> it would have to be. I think I think there's a chance of it being boxing. When though, Sean? That's the thing. I don't fucking when? know. The th- okay, do you think if I had a guess, does that happen? I don't know. You versus Dylan Dennis, though. Is that Andrew a- Tate dead ass said that his like foot or something is fucked up. So I understand if Andrew Tate doesn't want to get in a ring with MMA, kicking bats and all that type of stuff. I'm sure his shins are fucked up. Whatever his excuse is, we're just going to have to accept it. Fucking fight that will happen. I think no. Dylan Dennis, I think Andrew Tate has a more has more of a chance to take the fight than Dylan Dennis. Yes, 100%. You know, t- you know Tate's not even allowed in the United States either, I think. Is that why he's never here? I don't know. I I don't think he is. I think there's an issue with it. Regardless, I mean, say it, boy. Sweet, sweet crack. (laughs) That noise it would make when when the right hand hits Dylan Dennis's fucking (laughs) vampire diabetes face. It would be so satisfying. I don't know. Never will happen. Yeah. You don't think he would? I just don't think he would. How many fights has he had in the last... Ten years, too. It's funny. He's Damn. the professional fighter, right? I've had more fights than him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? What the hell? Yeah. yeah, but uh, no, it'd be exciting. I think. Uh, look, I'm fighting January 14th. I'm looking for an opponent. Where at? Tate. Andrew Tate, take it. W- what's up? Like opportunities on the table. Three, you don't have to fight for months? free, brother. We'd even pay you. We'd even. He's been training. I've, I've, I've seen the clips. Yep. You yep. know, he's, he's been throwing. Some January hands. 14th. Six January rounds. 14th. <clears throat> They'll pay him. I would not do a six round fight. January is pretty early. I fought, I fought Floyd in eight. I could have done ten. I'd, I'd love a ten round fight. Damn. Like let's go to the deep fucking waters. Mm-hmm. I take the shit very seriously. No one takes it ser- more seriously. Do a than twelve me round. Like, and me, brother. No, I no no no. no my, my bad. My bad. I was talking okay, about. Okay, I was talking about celebrity boxers. Are you, are you kidding me, bro? You're in a different league. I don't even. I don't even want to compare myself to you. I'm saying like. I just don't understand. I don't understand, and it frustrates me. And this is why I've. I. I, I there was a lot to unpack there. Because, like, the Tate conversation is harder than just would you fight Andrew Tate. Duh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> would Andrew Tate fight me? No shot. I don't think he would. He is too much on the line, dog. Like, like what but happens? Andrew Tate also said that he doesn't think Logan Paul would fight him, bro. They both said that they both won't take the fights. We're going to have to figure this out, bro. Figure it out. When your whole shtick is ruined because a YouTuber knocked out a four-time world champion kickboxer. And and not to discredit kickboxers, but what does that mean? Four time world champion kick. I've never heard of him. I ne- like who who are the guys he's 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 beating. Who, and 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 what makes him a four time world champion kickboxer if he can't even come into the United States, which is a part of the world? Yeah, there's so many different organizations. Help that, him. Yeah, 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 there's just so many different organizations. So, I mean, we we technically not saying that's what it is, but we could host a fight here tomorrow and then we could call it the world championships if we wanted but i think he does have a lot of fights i think he has over 80 oh, he has a shitload fights. that's why I'm, I'm i'm perplexed he has 87 fights why are y'all acting so confused about andrew tate as if y'all didn't just interview the motherfucker bro like y'all like y'all don't know how many fights he's had y'all just interviewed him am i a threat unless the interview is old or some shit that's ridiculous well, i don't I- even have a win guys <laughs> what the fuck is going on yeah, I mean, but I think he looks at, he, I mean, he, anyone that, will, you're athletic, you're fucking quick, you obviously take shit serious, you are, you, you are a threat. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he probably looks at you as like, Silly. yeah, it's not going to be easy, but I, I fucking hope that shit Dude, happens. Dude, so what, what, for January 14th, is there, is there, what the fuck other names could there be? But Logan Paul, I mean, uh, Andrew Tate said it was going to be easy, uh, be easy to beat Logan Paul. I have it on footage. He said it in 4K. Logan Paul is easy to beat. Jake Paul, you will have to train for. Dildo Danis and fucking Tate. Is there any others? There's there's one guy that we have in mind. I don't want to say yet, Doug, just because it's, you know, you got one shot at a first impression. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Um, but it'd be big. It's going to be big regardless because KSI is on the same card. It's like a prime squad Ooh, card. And so he, he's going to be fighting shit. a big name. I'm going to be fighting a big name. He'll probably main event it because he's the, like the champ mm-hmm. and I'll co-main. And in America? In, in that would be interesting. Okay, Dude, what about Houston. what about with Tate? Boxing, first round. Yeah. Kickboxing, second round. Boxing, third round. That's it. Threes. Three rounds. Well, three well how threes? the fuck is that fair to me, dog? I can't kick. No, <laughs> boxing is the first one. Yeah. Kickboxing is the second one. Yeah. Then you still get a box, and then you get a boxing again. How is that? F- 
Tim, what are you saying? He wants ten rounds, not three. Wait, wait, hold on, hold and on. He wants boxing. How is? Why would I? Why would I? What? Why would I do that? Because you're probably the better boxer. So, so to bait Tate into a favorable fight from a YouTuber <laughs> with no wins, you want me to play to his strengths where he's a world champion? That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> What are we talking I just, about? I just here? want to see a boxing match, dude. I, I feel I like a like boxing that. yeah, match yeah. would be the. That's what the. That's what the people Yo, would like. Or to see. MMA. Yo, he, yeah. he, he. Or MMA, the real shit. He won't do it. He's he's a brilliant fraud, and I'm not. I'm, would you rather see Logan Paul and Andrew Tate do kickboxing or boxing? I'd rather see the MMA fight, but obviously I, I understand Andrew Tate's foot has a little, uh, you know, wear and tear. So I would understand if they just did not do that. This is it, bro. This is the last time I talk about this shit publicly until either a contract, until a contract signed. Like Damn, I, 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 press I, conference for that. <laughs> Yo, let, me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Hey, Andrew Tate, you can't say Logan Paul didn't throw it out there. He threw out the challenge. Are you gonna take the bait, motherfucker? Let's see if he takes the bait. We need to see if he takes that fucking bait. That shit is a fucking furnace from start to finish. It's why you've seen two of Jake's opponents, professional boxers, Tommy Fury, Hasim Rahman Jr., drop out. It's a furnace from start to finish. When you sign the contract and you think you're gonna get paid that 600 Gs or whatever the fuck it is, it's just looking bright. God damn, mm. you're gonna, you're gonna get, maybe get knock serious. out Jake Paul the YouTuber. Uh, uh, you just made a bunch of money. But holy shit, Jake, Jake is making fun of me online. He's trolling me. He's affecting my mental health. He's fucking up the way I sleep. I think about him in the morning at night when I'm fucking my girl, I can't get Jake Paul out of my brain. Now you're a month away and he's looking good. And the pressure of getting knocked out by a YouTuber is mounting fast. Mm -hmm. And then you're in the ring with the person and he hits much harder than you expected. It's horrifying. And I, I just don't think, I truly don't think the top G would be ready for that. You're not a top G, just a fucking guy. You're a fucking guy who made, <laughs> he's new money. He made some money. I don't know. I, I think top G's ready for that, bro. I think he could take a punch. I think you're underestimating like, how much of a punch Andrew Tate can punch? Uh, I mean, how much of a punch Andrew Tate can take? He took a whole knee to his fucking face. He couldn't take that. But I damn sure know that his face should be damn well conditioned after that knee to the fucking jaw. He put his name on his compound. I see a, a picture of his compound. It looks like a it looks like a YouTuber again who was daily <laughs> vlogging, just made some money, and made a little like a Team Ten house with it, with his supercars and you know your occasional Insta thought. Mm. Damn. I'm done, dude. I'm done. That's it. That's it. I'm that not talking money. about it again, bro. I'm I done. It. I it's love it. Clickbait the fuck out of it, bro. Click, Fucking click, click. Get it. It. Uh, Let's go. What do you get got? your clicks Wayne, up. Are you going to the weigh-in soon? Is it? Is that happening? What is it? Five? It's at five. But I think it's. I think it's close to here. Yeah, it's right down the. Right down the. Is it really? Right Shit. down the road. Yeah. Have you met? Have you met my girl? No. Have you? No. She here? I think she's out. Oh, she's she's coming. She she's coming. She'll be here in a little bit. Oh, sweet. You guys should meet her. She's fantastic. Fuck yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, noth nothing's ever close to here. The event's <coughs> close to here? Gil Reaver. Oh, right it's Hillow River? That's yeah. the, they just the, arena, the name? The arena is, that's why we scheduled it if we were, had done it tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay, I see what you're so saying. So you could just buy, but yeah. Phoenix is spread the fuck out. Is that a yeah. ghost, bro? Because if there's a ghost, tell me not. I don't fuck with paranormal activity no, I ain't at all. Ghosts, yeah. The camera's bro, really I know Logan Paul really does not believe in ghosts, bro. Logan Paul believes in ghosts, bro. What a fucking puss. Yeah, if you believe in ghosts, you're a fucking idiot. No, no, they're I not. I like, they're it. I like it. I like um, it. I like it. Let's talk. We haven't even talked about Jake versus Anderson. Is this gonna come out tomorrow? So that. Oh yeah. When is this coming out? Oh, is it? Let's drop it tomorrow. I think you have to because it's always weird when it. when you predict talk it, about then it, it after, and, after. and then you fucking look like a dork. Um, <clears throat> dude, bro. Half the time when Anderson's hitting mitts or he's sparring and shit, I'm like, I don't know if he's trolling, because we know old Anderson. He fucking he's a sniper, dude. <laughs> but sniper. Is that really how he's gonna come out and fight? Is he gonna be that slow? Because if he is, fuck, it might be a long night. Dog, I think it's gonna be a short night, and I think Jake's gonna kill him. Do you really? I think he's gonna kill him. You fuck, think that man, right I hope hand? he doesn't actually kill him oh, with his right hand. Something about that right hand. The what happens if two YouTubers get in a boxing ring, and then one of them dies from getting punched too hard in the face or some shit like that? He's so explosive and confident in it. That's the that's that's the big probably part. the biggest part is how confident he is in that right hand. Yep. <laughs> but could that be a detriment? Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. But he seems like he's got good coaches. He's got good training. It seems like he, Jake's been having good sparring partners. Very good. The one guy is so fucking good. He's a world world. What's his name? Was it that black dude I saw on yeah. one of the videos? Yeah. He's he's so good. I watch him 
Spar- he's, he's, he's a serious guy. Yeah. I mean, dude, that <clears throat> for me, it's like leading up to these big high level fights, having good, good, good sparring partners is so important. Dude. I want my hardest so fights to be. I could I imagine spar. that. Yeah. 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 I mean, mm-hmm. fuck, I definitely had some, some good wars. And, and having a sparring that, partner people. that'll push you and stuff like that'll be great. I would love to have a sparring partner and then one that's way better than me at everything so I can just learn. And I would like a well rounded athlete as well, someone who's like well rounded and like many other fighting sports as well so i could just learn off of him peter yon fight but where do you find these guys you know like like you got to find some tough guys who like because because sparring partners come with a slew of issues themselves you get the wrong ones yeah i flew a kid in from the uk who was really good boxer really quick hands and then i like uh spar at the mma lab down the street and uh they have fucking killers plenty of killers no matter what style i'm fighting they got a handful of killers good mma town Good fighter yeah. towns. Oh, Dude, it's like a Phoenix, mecca here. Bro. Phoenix really? Crazy. It really is. Whoa. Yeah. What, what are some other cities with that are, have a effect? That are, that are quite like Phoenix? Fuck, dude. I don't even know. I mean, you got some bad ones. I mean, at this gym alone, there's probably five, six bantamweights in the UFC that are yeah, fucking really Whoa. Whoa. Staff, Division one wrestlers. Like, we have the, some of the best black belts in jiu-jitsu in the world here. Like, you, you got Benson really Henderson's training. gym. That's kind of like was the mm. main man that fucked started the gym. Who are you excited about in the ufc personally and also who do you think is a fraud who do you think is going to get exposed oh um i think patty's making some noise he's he's got a i'm not sure the guy's fighting he, yeah he's i think he's making some noise yeah i like watching people big characters so Me i think too. He, he's exciting Me to too. watch Me too. but you see but you see him and you see the lifestyle he's living and you see yeah. how much trouble these guys at the very bottom of the ufc are giving him they're putting him in bad spots. They're fucking rocking him. So to to think that he's going to get to a super elite spot, it's like I feel like he's going to have to change yeah. his training yeah, I or mean, change his habits outside of his fight camps. Yeah. I, I, want, I want Patty's streak to continue. I really do. Oh, I, dude, I, I, so, he's I, awesome. I, I think he's a great lad. And Good luck, Patty. You know, we need, your, we need your streak to get back up there, man. You know, I guess they're trying to say that you've fallen off, bro. It sounds like they're saying that you're falling off. We don't want that. We need you back in there, Patty. Patty, whatever. And, uh, <laughs> I've said some shit about him in the past, and, I, and I'll say some shit about him in the future. Mm-hmm. And I'll say some shit about him right now, but like I think <laughs> at the end of, end of the day, I think it's pretty objective that Patty is fucking fun to watch. Who's yeah. not Jack to watch Patty? Dog, he's to talk come and on, his hair bro, fluffing. Come on, yeah. bro. He got the look. He got everything. He's, yeah. he's, he's, I have to separate myself. And my personal belief sometimes from just the facts. Yeah. yeah. The matter. The lad got it. The lad got it. And if he can, if he can, if his fight game can can match his persona, I think I think you got someone solid there. But otherwise, you're gonna have to protect him because I do think if he steps in with someone dangerous, that especially in, in that trouble. division, dude, I mean, 155. Yeah. It's not like Fuck. he's like super fast or super accurate or a super strong powerhouse grappler. Yeah, he's pretty good top to bottom, but he doesn't stand out anywhere. Again, like it's someone that like confidence too. Yeah, that but someone helps. like you, you have you're very fast. Someone like Connor is very fast, very precise, and it takes someone like that to beat elite elite guys. And then what'd you ask me? Who do I think is like a fraud? Yeah. Fuck, I don't even know if I could think of anybody that I, I don't really watch the UFC Mike to be honest. I guess there's a guy in the UFC named Mike Jackson who's one in four. Yeah. I, well, okay, well I I don't know. I don't, I don't watch the UFC honestly. Like there's fights tomorrow night. Probably, I don't know if we'll watch them. You think well, I guess we'll be a You think Kamzat is as good as Yeah. Yeah. I think Fuck so. yeah, dude. I think that motherfucker is the real I mean, when he I just d- thought he was gonna fuck up Gilbert Burns more. Bro, but, but dude, Gilbert Burns is, is a dog. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Bro, Gilbert Burns is is you know up there with the top of the top of the top. Like mm-hmm. that motherfucker, all is just his jujitsu is insane. Nigga, his, what the fuck, bro? He dying over there, bro. Like, what the fuck is that nasty ass shit going on back there? Got he's pretty confident. Okay, in his hands. bet, bet, no, yeah. For him to go through a war with with Gilbert like that proves how good he really is. Okay, bet yeah. because I was I wasn't sure you know, uh, he he appeared as if a guy who was gonna. No. No, L advertisement, bro. It's all good. How's your day? 
gonna walk through everyone and you saw him get humbled a little 11 bit. minutes even admitted. there's 11 minutes left in the stream and then it's all over guys it appeared as if a guy who was gonna walk through everyone and you saw him get humbled a little bit and he even admitted it he's like yeah he's like yo that was that was hard <laughs> that was the first time i was like holy shit i'm in a fucking war yeah Ooh, and it's interesting to see that flip switch in men uh -huh. in women when they are faced with a real fucking tribulation. Yeah. Well, some people are that they're the most dangerous when they don't know how good people are. They're yeah. going to the ring. They For don't know sure. how good people are. They think they're the fucking. They don't yeah. train with the best guys in the world. That's when they're most dangerous. Well, yeah. Do you consider defeat before your fights? I, I'm like, am I okay with defeat in, in my do, head? Do, yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm. People have this narrative that I don't know how to lose because the Cheeto fight. I've said it. I said I'm not counting that as a loss. That shit was fucked. Like it was. Yeah. It was freak accident. I didn't feel like he beat me skill for skill. If we go on rematch and he beats me, yep. And not nothing freak accident happens. I people act like I don't know how to lose. I'm not even worried about losing, dude. I have the gym, got the family. What freak accident? I got a lane. Like my life's so sweet. What freak accident I'm happened? So fucking blessed to have the life I live. That a loss. If a loss fucked me up mentally, I'd be that would me be that would be being weak minded. Yeah, for sure. I'm not scared to lose. I'm okay. and I think that's I was standing in the back back locker room getting ready for Peter Yon with zero nerves. Not so d sick, dog. Calm, yep, dude. Yep. And I do attribute that to being okay with losing. If I go out there and do my best and I lose, I know I did everything I fucking possibly could. I didn't cut any corners. I'm okay. Hey, that's a good way to look at it. Like, hey, at least if I lost, at least I tried my fucking best before I got dragged around. I think that helps me become less nervous or not nervous at all. Just Boom. being okay with it. My opinion, such a powerful position to be in. Yeah. I think a lot of guys get blinded by the path of light and cannot see or fathom the idea of them losing. Yeah. And that, so you're saying they get tunnel vision towards the thought of winning all the time and that they never could imagine that they will lose? That makes the defeat then that much more painful. It makes it sense. sounds like Logan Paul himself is still trying to come to terms to where, like, if he were to lose to somebody, what would happen for him, you know? Come back that much harder. Yeah. But in indirectly. Reality, I don't give a shit who you are. Losing is a very real possibility. Like, can you acknowledge defeat? Look it in the fucking eyes. I mean, it's Mike Tyson lost. That tells you a lot. Say I see you, but you ain't you ain't touching me. You ain't touching any of the, what I built. And I think that the comfortability you're describing, that peace, that ability to just live in the moment, is so freeing and dangerous for the guy across. Yeah. You. And dude, I have when I'm in camp, the amount of time I have by myself and like just sitting outside watching the sunset. I have like the most beautiful sunset. Yeah. I have my rock, my recliner out there, and I just watch the sunset. And I have this this peace. It's not, I'm not happy. I'm not sad. I'm not nothing. I'm, I'm just, it's just like a peaceful, peaceful mindset that I know that I can obtain or attain or whatever whenever I want. Yeah. If I can go out there and just breathe, like sometimes it takes a while to yeah. sit out there, breathe and, and get to that point. But I know that I'm capable Kinda of Kind of meditate. It. Is that where you went when, when Jan rocked you? Like, where did you go, dude? Did well, you, did, you, did also, did you get rocked? Were you, was it the ambulance in your head, the earthquake, or, or was it just a hard, hard ass punch? just fucking cracked me bro that was definitely the hardest i've ever been hit i don't I, I didn't go out i didn't not know where i was at i remember boom i got rocked and then we kind of got into a scramble and I ended up on my back closed my guard and held him there kind of just to for sure for sure for be, sure yeah I, I was Ooh. i was i was hoping though. i'm like yo sean do not let him go and that dude was starting to develop some ptsd the more he told that damn story he's glad that logan would just cut him off on that one 60 yeah. fucking seconds to re recoup because also I was going to ask, did you learn something? Because you had rocked the fuck out of him. <clears throat> and then you do this thing and you've done it before where you stay calm. It like mm -hmm. doesn't excite you. And then you like kind of snipe for that yeah. real kill shot. But in that, even though you thought he was rocked, the fighter and him came out and got you back. Boom. So like, what's, what's the takeaway, man? I, I don't think I did anything wrong. I think it's just how good that motherfucker is. Like, hey. I don't think I overcommitted. I don't think I, you know, rewatching it. I, I wasn't like, fuck, I wish I didn't do that. I think, uh, the motherfucker's just that good, dude. And I, uh, maybe I, I don't know. Usually in those, like you say, in those positions, he returned back with the fire flame flow, bro. 
so good at finding that motherfucker's chin and putting his lights out. I'm good at finding people's chins. That's the name of the game. No, That's what I'm so sure. good at doing. And finding his chin, the motherfucker's <clears throat> defense, dude, mm. is bla- as high level as it gets. Mm. So the fact that I did find his chin and I did drop him, I don't think anyone's dropped him. Maybe John Dotson, which was like a weird little kind of job. But, dude, he's fought some killers that haven't done shit to him. Mm. And I fucking was able to drop him. So I don't know if I would really do anything different. Obviously, I wouldn't have liked to get hit with that shot. But, uh the motherfucker I just yeah he was just that good yeah but mm-hmm. what do you got going on the rest of the day press conference no sorry weigh in weigh in which I thought was odd because Jake you know he has to do weigh in there's the private official yep. weigh in and then there's the public weigh in and it doesn't matter what you weigh in at the public weigh in yeah. you, you've already eaten you've already regained the water um, but he posted the, the he posts I guess historically the, the private weigh in which then I'm not sure why people would even show up to the public way. They like have private, and, they have it's, private and public weigh-ins. Why? Just to show, essentially. Yeah. I guess if you're bored, yeah. you can show up. But so, anyways, it's for the fans. It's for the fans. fans right? Love it's, that it's, shit. Bro. But even though you know he already either made weight or didn't make yo, weight, the the weigh-ins are, are fucking people love that shit, bro. Right. The fans. Last face off for the scrap. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. I guess. I guess. So so there's that, and then uh, my friend George Janko. He he uh, he actually is born and raised in Scottsdale. Mm. So we're going to go have dinner with his family. Hell good yeah. old home cooked meal with the squad and uh probably just chill, man. This place this place is quiet and peaceful and the sunsets are beautiful <sighs> in Arizona. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. The weather right now too is nice. It's not too hot. Perfect. Not it's, too cold. It's cool, bro. It's a cool place to live. You going to be here forever? Dude, I, I, I think the stream is almost over. It's almost over. It's, it ends in like 5 minutes. I think for my fight career, I ha- I'm going to stay at the same place we're at, stay at the gym, stay here for the next 10 years. Once it's all said and done, I think uh, I could see myself living somewhere near an ocean or somewhere really? near water. If you win world champ, excuse me, when you win world champ, would you consider retiring immediately? No. God damn it, Sean. I want to <laughs> be known as the great. Fuck, Sean! Of all time. Bro, I get so nervous when you fight. Like, when you fight, <laughs> when Ryan fights, Ooh. when Jake fights. Actually, not so much Jake anymore. Probably because I, I don't see the work you're putting in, right? Yeah. I see the work yep. Jake's putting in. But, like, like... I think Logan Paul is like, bro, if you retire, I'll feel good about me retiring. Gar- Ryan Garcia, when he fights, when you fight, I'm just like, fuck, bro! I want my friends to win. I want them to do well. I don't like seeing them get hit. Yo, that but I know, you, I know you got what it takes. But, damn, you, in my opinion... You got that one thing that a lot of fighters don't have, and that is a personality. Yeah. <laughs> a personality. A lot, a lot of fighters are fucking boring. Yeah, bro. It's the ones that hate me, too. Like, it's like, don't be so fucking boring. Dog, it, it's because they don't know what else to do or feel. And then you yeah. turn out like Henry, though. Oh, God, that poor No, guy. no, no, He's because like, that's the other fuck. thing. You try to force it, yeah. oh. and, and, and now, you're like, now you're like, oh, I was just, Oh my God, it looks like I'm beating my meat on stream, bro. I'm not. I'm sitting there spinning this fidget spinner. I'm spinning a fidget spinner. I was, I, <laughs> I was doing this, and, and down here it looks like I'm. Seen, I seen Jay Paul fucking be a menace. Like I'll be a menace too. Yeah. But if that's not you, yeah. if it's not authentic, you're just coming off his little cornball. Like, ew. oh yeah, that's hard to watch. It's, it's fucking it. hard to watch. Who made this? Uh, Marcelo, dude, does our tats. He uh, came in here and fucking just did all the paintings. Paintings, yeah. cra- you can. Paint it is nice when you look at it from a uh, wide shot. It is nice. Uh, what can I, I do? Like... I can, you've seen some painting stuff. Yeah, I, okay. I, 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 I could paint a little bit, bro. I'm, 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 so I'm a photographer, bad. bro. We don't have to go into it like too much, but is NFTs done forever? It's a great question. Are they done forever? They're not, really. And I'll tell you why. Uh, the the market in general sucks right now sank uh, crypto and also uh the stock market fucking blows like we're not in a good spot our economy's not good and the housing market is going to collapse and we're going to be fucked interest rates are higher than they've ever been worse oh. than the 2008 economic collapse like we're fucked yeah um, uh you mean the economic recession the economic collapse so i don't know still though so Sounds like somebody who heard, who heard a fact off Google once and just repeating it just to make it sound more knowledgeable himself sound more knowledgeable. 
or he heard a bunch of older people complain, this is the worst set thing that we've dealt with since the 2008 recession, and then he's just kind of regurgitating it. For that reason, I actually wouldn't dig in too much of this 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 crypto uh, uh, decline we're seeing right now. But also, did y'all hear that? Somebody yelling in the oh, damn background, uh, bro. Though, uh, um, Somebody just yelled in the background. Listen closely. Decline. Dig in too much of this 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 crypto uh, uh, decline we're seeing right. Now. You heard it right now. But also, I, I, I've said this before, and I'll continue to harp on it. I have a hard time understanding how the technology that is non-fungible tokens won't be absolutely necessary in human life it is verification for digital assets i know it's so crazy to imagine but in 10 years an asset you have on your phone will excite you it will it will it will mean a lot to you it could be worth a lot of money and that asset could be easily replicated and duplicated if someone takes a screenshot or saves the video, whatever. The only thing to protect people from duplicating digital assets is the NFTs, the non-fungible token. Like that's just, like you own a house, we all acknowledge that you own it because you have a deed. I believe the world's going super fucking digital, like really digital. How, how can it not? How can it not go digital? You're gonna own things that are worth something and have value in the digital world. But homie can own it too if he screenshots it. No. NFTs allow you to trace it back to the sole owner. Digital verification is all it is. I don't. I don't. I have a hard time understanding how that technology will not be extremely uh, inevitable and useful for society. Yeah, I think it sounds useful. I mean, it sounds useful on paper, and I don't think anybody doesn't believe in it. I think that everybody's used the NFT things instead of for good, as for crypto scam. I mean, for scams and shit like that. So now nobody, nobody trusts it now. It's not that it's a bad idea. So for that reason, no. I, I think I think we're mad early. And you know for what, that you know reason, Bitcoin I'm out. First came out. Yep. I, I think that's like NFT is going to take 10, 15 years to really. Start Interesting shooting. perspective right there. That you know what I'm just saying, bro. Yeah. Don't give up on it, bro. But also, don't buy fucking cats with dicks in their mouth. Like, don't <laughs> don't don't buy an, an otter sleeping on a creek because your friend promoted the the, the project. Like, you got to not fall into the trap of, of buying some shit because you think it's going to go to the moon tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Well, yeah, brothers, brother. that was a great combo, dude. Thanks hey, so much. That was bro. the end of the podcast, so bro. Everybody. I fucking love you guys. Fun. Yeah, if you yeah, guys yeah, are yeah. watching this pleasure. stream, primes are fucking off legit fire. YouTube like, or anything, dude. Bro. I put them in, they're in my my my. Uh, Thank you for joining us. Like they're in my meal plans. Like no what, yeah. fucking way. Yeah, I can have two a day when I'm in camp. That is incredible. I've had six. This is my sixth. It's been today. fun. I'm not camp. I oh got my fucking goodness! I, I guarantee I go fill this up and give someone. Go piss run. We'll finish out, but dude, we gotta we gotta go to Costa Rica. Why? Puerto, Puerto, Rico. Puerto Rico. I was like, okay. That, yeah, yeah, I can I'm help down. you with that. Yeah. <laughs> Costa go. Rica, I'm like, all right. Puerto Rico would be fire. Uh, 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 you never guys been. are invited anytime. I got extra rooms in the casita for you. I swear to God, this is an open invitation. Uh, uh, can come, I bring my baby? Bring your baby. Okay. Bro, bro, I have t I have a casita. Like, come take the rooms in the nanny? casita. No, got no <laughs> nanny. You're going to have to bring the nanny, but she can come yeah, too. No. And we also have a warehouse to train in. Like, all we do is train, watch TV, chill, Dude. hang out, swim in the pool. Like, it's dope, bro. I got a new house. Let's go. And hey, all right. Dun, dun, dun. I got a fucking... Nah, I can't say it. I'll tell a you A girlfriend. Ooh, a girlfriend. And a boyfriend. <laughs> I got a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, peace, boys. But yeah, that's the end of that, guys. This just came out uh, today, so I had to capitalize and get that shit early, bro. I want to be the first one to start clipping these motherfuckers, bro. Anyways, that'll do it, guys. My name is Ezoff. If you're watching this off a of stream, thank you if you really got through this entire thing. If you're watching this later in the future, even though this video is probably really old by then, thank you for coming back and watching my old stuff or finding my old stuff, period, and deciding to watch it fully through. Uh... That's pretty much it. Let me get to work now, guys. I'll probably be streaming again here in, like, probably a day or two. Uh, just give me some time. I got to slice this video up. My goal is to get to everything. Another stream by tomorrow. But if anything, I'll be back in two days. So, my name is Ezoff. Signing off with my fucking Walmart sh shirt. Goodbye. <laughs>